Welcome, everyone. At long last, the day has come. The rebirth. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's time for rebirth. <clears throat> or should I say, it's time for rebirth. <laughs> Here we go, everybody. The long-awaited day has come. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is here. I'm sponsored by Square Enix, and I'm so excited to be playing it today. Vincent, I mean Phil. Yes, if you guys want to see the full cosplay, check out my Twitter. I posted a couple pics and uh, YouTube community as well. We did the whole weapon, Cerberus and everything. Uh, Leah went really hard making this as well. Vincent, yes. <laughs> It's great to see you all. I'm so excited. It's it's actually surreal um, that we're going to be playing this at long last. So, What's up, Night Fury? Let me say hi to everybody in chat. Uh, Leo Will just subscribed. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Aaliyah. Mo knocked Moe's pants off. I did, yeah. I knocked Moe's pants off. <laughs> Let me say hi to everybody in chat. It was full screen. I don't know why it was full screen. Um, hello, Campfire Goth, Honey Bun, Express, Empress, Fabizi, Campfire Goth, Keely, Yolo Alchemist, The Legend. How are you guys doing? Matt the Conqueror. So nice to see everybody. Morgana. Hello, 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 guys. It's it's actually surreal. Like I said, four years, Alchemist. Yeah. Four full years. Your hair is suited for Vincent. Thank you so much, Leah. Yeah, I'm unbelievably excited. Emotes, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Gotta get some emotes. But it's just so exciting. Um, I can't wait to hop in. It's it's a surreal feeling to be here after this long. This is how I really got my YouTube channel started. This is the first video I posted on YouTube was for Remake. And to come sort of full circle with it is just really, really nice. Really, really nice. How you doing? Um, I was going to say, can you get me my kombucha? And... Uh, I think that's it. Thank you. Whenever you do. Yeah. All right. You excited, Keely? Yeah. Hello, Rodney. I'm so pumped. I was just talking to Leah. She's here as well. But yeah, we're going to be uh, doing a lot of fun cosplay stuff. So stay tuned. Tomorrow, we're going to film more. We got it done like this morning. Wanted to get a quick shot and post that. So we have some really cool ideas for uh, videos with the cosplay and stuff. So stay tuned. And Leah has a new one coming as well. It's going to be great. But yes. This is it, guys. The day has come. Um, it's it's really surreal. Like I said, I I don't even know how to feel right now. I'm just gonna hop in, and you know we're gonna play the beginning. And this is the full game. It's unbelievable, and it's such an honor to be sponsored by Square Enix. Like I said, so yeah, the time has come, everyone. Yeah, I tried that vegan bakery next door. It was great. Oh, you put a pic. I gotta look at the food channel. Yeah, that's really exciting. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm okay right now. Thank you. Appreciate it. So yeah, I'm gonna play. I'll, I'll probably eventually take some of this off. Uh, if it gets uncomfortable, like this might be a little too tight. But I'm super excited. The time has come, friends. So with that being said, I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna do my official intro, and I think we've waited long enough for this game. <laughs> so I'm gonna get right into it. I cannot contain my excitement. So I'll do my official intro right now. Thanks for that wave. Get those fight scenes coming, yeah. Alright, here we go, friends. So. <clears throat> Do the official YouTube intro. Everybody say hi to yourselves on YouTube. Like, what? Inception? In my cinematic journey through Final Fantasy VII, at long last, we've come to the day or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I'm so honored today to be sponsored by Square Enix to play this game for the first time and share the amazing story with you all. Cosplaying Vincent today, uh, made by my amazing girlfriend, Aaliyah, and I just couldn't be more happy to finally play this game and share it with you. So let's get into it. If you've been enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe and check out our long history of FF7 content and videos together. With that being said, I believe it's time, my friends. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the music because you guys should be able to hear 
the game now. All right, friends. The time has come. Let me crop this a little bit. <clears throat> oh, it's surreal, man. It's surreal to be here. I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Oh, look at that image. It's so beautiful. But yeah, there we go. How long was the download? Um, I started downloading it last night uh, when I got the product key from Square Enix. Actually, really quick. We have pretty good internet here. Uh, it went really fast. Probably like a half hour. Maybe less. <laughs> it's so crazy to be back. Just on this menu and, uh, and taking it all in. It's absolutely unbelievable. Oh, man. I can't believe it, guys. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, Aaliyah, for that sub as well. You're the best, girl. Appreciate you so much. Um, Aaliyah made this cosplay, put so much work into it, and uh, like I said, check the Twitter if you haven't seen it. We made Cerberus. We made all kinds of awesome stuff. Um, my contribution was I painted Cerberus. That was really fun. His weapon tutorial on its way. Yeah, and Aaliyah actually filmed a lot of the process, so I hope she's going to put it on her YouTube for you guys to be able to see. It's very exciting. Yeah. Seems a bit quiet. Um, just to me. I think you guys can hear it quite well, though. But uh, I think we'll go ahead and start. And we will figure it out as we go. But yeah, guys, the time has come to begin the journey. New game. <laughs> well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look at the options real quick. Uh, our good boy, Blitz. Actually, uh, gave some really cool tips like this combo targeting, making it free. You can actually bounce back and forth between combos. So shout out to Blitz for that. So make sure that's on. Let's go to new game. Doing graphics mode, performance mode. You know, it's a good question. Um, for now, I'm gonna have it so you guys can hear it. So I'm gonna say off on the wireless. Um, difficulty. You know, I'm a little torn on the difficulty. Um, can you change this at any time? You can probably change it at any time. Oh, you can, yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to see how hard dynamic is, but for now, let's do normal. Um, we'll do active, of course. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Everybody buckle up. The beginning of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth after four years. Here we go, guys. Can you hear it well? This is the beginning. This is the beginning of F or this is the ending of FF7 Remake. Oh my goodness. Zephyroth! What an intro. I'm waiting. Ooh, great wow. shot. Great shot of Zephyroth. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. This is after Countless the tornadoes. Have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. Oh my goodness. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. This is the Shinra news report of what of happened. Course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Oh my goodness. Multiple yes. reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It. The military? Okay. The fall of the Sector 7 guys, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. Oh my goodness. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, yep. Mayor Domino released a statement. This is while we were fighting separate. Tornado to be quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. They blame it on Avalanche. The administration also suspects That's the involvement horrifying. of Wutai and of has begun Wutai. investigations into the matter. Guys. Oh, okay. The show continues even though the broadcast ended the music stamp there's stamp <laughs> yeah it really makes it feel real and also nefarious the entire Shinra building oh my goodness Midgar is just destroyed what's even left there's like sector one and two are gone they said unbelievable oh Okay, we're getting the opening feeling now, reminiscent of Remake. You can hear those strings. Yeah. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh. 
the nostalgia, but also bringing something new and the feather imagery coming back in. Oh, nice take on the original opening theme here. This is a new journey, even though it's a trilogy. Zach! They look so awesome. The main theme. Oh, and it takes a mysterious ending to the main theme. What an image, man. The the size of this massive undertaking. Just two tiny, insignificant course, looking figures. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Looks so Multiple good. We're getting the continuation the fall of, the hit. of Zack and Cloud. Boy, <laughs> oh, really? that tornado really did a number on the city. Unbelievable. I found another reactor blew up, which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. Kyrie. Oh, over there. I'm gonna take a bake sale. Expressway. Search and rescue operations are already in progress. Beautiful shots. Now we're back to pre-rendered. I love how they're doing this. The news broadcast is pre-rendered. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier armed with a buster sword. Fugitive with a buster sword. Back over here. So it's Cloud, but Zack thinks it's him. The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Baron Tifa. Oh no. Quick, get the camera off him. Yeah, bad taste. Bad taste. Come on. This way. <laughs> Get the camera off him. Anyways, film more. Targets have been secured. No! We are expelling via helo now. Move it. We're oh! Off. No way. What? So this is, af this is after he went to the church, guys. It's got to be after he went to the church. No. Wow, that was messed up. Even the media. Oh, this is bad. Kyrie, she's like, that's the fugitive. Yep. Excuse me, could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako, but he'll be fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's gotta go, he's gotta go see if he can get after Aerith. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. She's in the chopper. Oh no! Oh! Red's up and at him! This is unbelievable. What an opener! I did not expect this. This is incredible. Guys. Oh! Yes! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, guys. We are in it. And it feels so good to play as our boy Zack again. Unbelievable. I didn't expect it would be this soon. I thought we would do it, but I actually quite like this. I quite like how we just dropped in and Medias race, you know? The music is fantastic. You guys hearing it? It's absolutely incredible music, yeah. Whoa, look at all the damage. It's like an Airbuster looking thing. The environments. I, this is absolutely Hamauzu. I love that you said that, Bisap. This sounds so Hamauzu. The composer. It's absolutely him. Fantastic work. Alright, what are we doing? We get to fight? I'm so hyped. Let's go. Combo charge. Oh my god, his moveset's amazing. Oh, guys. This is awesome! <laughs> Straight out of FF10, it sounds like the assault song. Oh my goodness, this is amazing! This is how you start, baby. Decimated him. Absolutely decimated. There's more troops. I love this opening. Paying off on that cliffhanger that they set up. Alright, let's go. What? Heads up! Oh, oh my god! I hope that wasn't the one with Tifa. Dang! Come Zach on, up to his old trick, it. man. I love this. I love this. What in the world? I did not expect this opening after the demo. This is amazing! Guys! 
his combo. Dude, he kicks the people. His moveset is incredible. He's very circular choreography. No! Oh my goodness, now what? Don't tell me. Come on. This is unbelievable. Thank you. Guys. My mouse is feeling it. He's gotta get out of there. It's just endless troops. And he's gotta leave Red. No, I wonder if Red is done. This is incredible. I love it. The rain. But I'm back now, Aaron. I'm back. The music. No. The iconic shot? Oh no! That's a reference to FF7 original. What an opener. That's unbelievable. All right, then. And of course, seeing as we've got the time, here we go. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Mind blowing sure. intro. Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. What little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out Great of nowhere, job. the job of a lifetime came up. A mission was separate. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. What's up, Pratt? Thank you so much. Can't wait to jump in. Yeah, thank you for the lyric, man. Thank you. This is unbelievable. And of course, this is the demo now. It's really coming down, huh? Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Hey man, feeling any better? Oh good. Sure don't look it. This is a great shot. This is a one shot. It does not help, cut. Never been motion sick. Very colloquial. Sorry, Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Hmm. He's not feeling too good either though. That was such an opener. I am I am speechless from that. That's ridiculous. That's so good. Hey, get those squats in, baby. Yes, sir. Hey, rein it in. Sorry. No can do. <laughs> Kids. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? <laughs> Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with me, Ty. Stealing my shot at glory. I love that line. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <laughs> Dang. Uh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. I Where is this. it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? Yeah. That's where I grew up. Such a great shot. They did not cut the camera once. Well. That entire time. Very well done. Yeah. It's pretty invisible too, because Let's they go. keep changing the composition. Very well done. Alright, here we go guys. It's about to get crazy. I'm speechless from that opening, man. That was incredible. And the music. Best shot, come on, the hero shot. You take one, I'll take the other. I am giddy, man. I feel like a kid. This is crazy. Oh <laughs> the one shot. So clean, man. 
I love it. I love it. Zamaroth! So good. So good. Let's go. Wait in the truck. No way. I got this. Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> Let's go! You will die! I love his dodge. It is the most satisfying thing in the game. It's insane how he moves. He moves like an absolute monster. So amazing. I love it. This is Gorgon. Oh, that iconic attack. <laughs> Wow, he did it in style too. He had to flex, by the way. He didn't just kill him, he destroyed him. Wonderful shot selection. I love the wide angle lens for the sword. Right there. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Love that. And this is the first time we're gonna get. Is this it? Yeah. I love that's N Medios race. And then we come out and see where we're at. Nibelheim. Okay, we're telling That's the story. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Looks incredible. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. Music. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. I love this. calling Shinra. Mysterious music. So the company sent help. Best they had. It's great. I was actually just reading Traces of Two Pasts, the Tifa side, for the first time, and I love how it relates to this. It kind of ties into it in the background. Yeah, a lot of the shots, just those little intro shot there for the establishing. Very well done. Home the low sweet angle. home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Mm. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. Uh -huh. My father. Oh there, Genova? Yeah. Like from the Shinra building? Yeah, don't worry. I love the, getting the cutaway, yeah. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> The song, man. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. So I love how they're they're kind of blending "Anxious Heart," this iconic song, morphing it for this little cutscene. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. And then it's gonna I'm be normal. Xander, the mayor here. There's Xander. I wanted to greet you myself to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. They look so good graphically. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Yeah, totally personable. I love how they, um, I love how they present him and they show like that little line right there. Okay, it's this kid's home. You're off duty, kid. I love that. It adds so much to the character. We're so glad you're here. Can you show us the house? Oh, so ah, the music is so iconic. What's up, Cool Rocket? Yeah. Beware of thieves. Good luck out there. So good, man. It's so good. Let's check something here, okay. The song is so iconic, like I said, to hear it kind of come to life fully like this, in the context of running around here, it's really incredible. And to be able to scale these little uh, jumps and everything, really, really adds a lot, in my opinion. Uh, I believe we're on graphic right now. Let me let me look. What's up, Marenwen? And Fabizi, thank you so much. Uh, Leah made this outfit. I helped out a little bit. I uh, painted the, the the weapon, Cerberus and everything. Nibelheim's bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah, I love it. It's still, you know, provincial town. It's, it's still a town that, you know, has a purpose of uh, being a base camp. But, um, so it's not too big. But they made it, like, a little bit more lived in. If, it, if there's been a camp there for so many years, it would it would be pretty, pretty built out. Yeah. All right, let me look at this. Uh... 
Let me look at something here. Yeah, we are on... Where is graphics? Is it options? Yeah, we're on graphics mode right now. I'm gonna actually look for performance for a second because they said they improved performance mode a lot. So let's take a look at uh, how it looks. Ooh, yeah. I definitely think it looks, it looks a little bit smoother. Um, you can see there's a, obviously a drop in resolution. So I'm probably gonna keep it on graphics. I just can't believe how good it looks on graphics mode. So um, that's usually where my my eye goes is the clarity and kind of detail, the textures and stuff that I enjoy more. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably leave it on graphics for now. Personally, I really like how it looks. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe when we do a bunch of gameplay section, we'll put it on uh, performance. Yeah, yeah I, it looks a lot clearer, I think, on graphics as it should be. Okay, awesome. Let's uh, let's progress. We've done a lot of this on the demo, so I am going to kind of just. Uh, Goes through some of this. Maybe we'll play piano just to get through, but I'm, I'm really excited to get to the next. Uh, Love in the background, yeah, it's really good. I think it's my favorite menu. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, <laughs> I guess. I love that. After two years away, you know that. This little moment he takes, man. It's so great. And then he looks at Tifa's house. Thinking long ago how we sat there waiting for her to come out to uh, to talk to her before he we left. What's he feeling? Is he feeling guilt? Is he feeling regret? Does he miss her? What's going on here? I love it. These little character moments are for me what makes the uh, what makes the remake. All right, let's get in there. Let's get to it. <laughs> You went to my place? You went to my place? Yeah. I figured you might be there. I love it. Let's activate all Remember these. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. So yeah. chilling, yeah. She was always disappearing, and that day was no different. I think that's what I like about the music, is this particular song is... You know, a lot of people call it Cloud's theme and stuff. What I like most about it is the fact that it feels like a song, the feeling I get is like he was sitting on the water tower, you know, thinking back, um, you know, what's he feeling? All these very complicated emotions, looking back you on your life. You went into my room? I did. I did. All right, we gotta do you it. You went through my stuff? <laughs> they should give a trophy for this. Yes. <laughs> Listen, this is funny. <laughs> it's too funny. It's too funny. All right, let's get our first piano Did in. Did you actually play it? Went to town on it. Went to town on it. Let's see how well we can do. We'll play one time and then move on no matter how well we do. I, I want to get past the demo and see like the full game, so I'm just like really excited. All right, uh, we select music. Um, awesome. Wait, what? Wait, did I not get the sheet music in the world? Wait, what? It's not let me play the song? What's going on here, guys? What? Did I not pick it up? I'm just using the face plant on the piano. <laughs> what the heck? You could have just left it alone, you know. Yeah. What were you even thinking? What? Yeah, uh, don't quit your day job. Don't quit your day job. Wait, wait, wait. I, I don't understand. Does he, do you not get the sheet music now? What's going on here, guys? I don't understand. Went to town on it. <laughs> Proceeds to just smash it and then leave. I don't understand. It used to be you hit the center button but I don't have any music to play. Strange. For some reason he didn't pick up Tifa's theme. I can't, I can't actually play anything. 
Let me look around again. Very interesting. Huh. I'm a little confused on that. I swear you just get it when you sit down before. Is it like somewhere else in the house now? Maybe because it's post demo? Or because it's full game? Hmm. I have no idea. I'm a little bummed I wanted to play it. Is it like in the other room or something? Did they move it? Let's see. Ah, oh, music's so good. Seems to be nothing in here. Oh. A bottle of ether. To answer the why don't they shoot? Yeah. There's a lot of reasons to say why don't they shoot. Yeah. Quite honestly, they're not trained killers. They don't kill anybody. And also, um, it's Sephiroth. It's like staring, you know, Superman in the face and suddenly realizing, oh my goodness, I'm like a little infant playing with a dinosaur, you know? Nice cosplay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm confused about the sheet music. I don't understand. Hmm. I'll click it one more time. Let me know if I'm insane. Don't you just get it when you, uh, when you sit down? Deepest theme? Maybe they changed it in the demo and it's like somewhere else in the town. I'm not sure. Yeah. It won't let me select music. Hmm. Yeah, as far as I can see, no way to play anything. Hmm. Yeah, let me know if anyone else played that part and knows um, knows what to do. I guess I'll have to wait till later. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop a save. Why not? I'm gonna save it right there in case we can figure that out later. Yeah, okay, thanks so much. Aaliyah made this cosplay, and I uh, I wear it proudly. Is it down here? The sheet music. It's so strange. Hmm. I love the set design though, it's so good. Then I stop on my it? mops. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I wanna hear what happened. Me too. Thank you, Marin went. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Fine. Alright, let's see. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. What a moment. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there. <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. They really do look alike. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? Love the soldier armor. The soldiers sure do clean up nice. That shot was eerie, just like this I've never been kitchen. So proud. Wow. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. Good girl. I can take care of myself. I love that shot. I can take an care older, of myself and goes into like a very childish, on the straight and narrow. very childish pose you you're being a silly goose. on the bed. It was cool That's detail. the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? Hmm. You're my son. Love it. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Love that cutoff. It's just so like, oof. You can tell it's a painful Wait subject. A second. You two were neighbors? 
We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? Oh. That most of them had to do with you. <laughs> so funny, man. Very, very on point with that. I'm trying this one more time. I'm so confused why it's not working, and then we're gonna leave. I love playing piano in real life too, so. Let me play! So interesting, yeah, nothing. Maybe outside of the demo, they just teach you this later, the, the mini game, which I guess would make sense. Something on Tifa's desk? Let me see. There's a radio. Is there makeup stuff? There's a magazine, but I can't interact with it. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it must be the... Uh, yeah, Barrett has the best. I'm thinking it was all you. You are a unpleasant person, quite frankly. Unpleasant person to be around. There's the Zangan stuff over here, which I love. It's so fun. You worked out with everyone? <laughs> Just for a bit. Aw. Could you keep up? Keep your arms straight. I love that. Feel the stretch. Could you keep that? <laughs> Alright, look at Sephiroth's back. Let's get in here. Can I have one of these sandwiches? Soldier, good to see you. How about a taste of home before you go? Aw. Wait a minute. Is that Cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. The taste reminds you of home. Love it. Alright, let's get in here and get this started. <laughs> we need to leave these men in peace so that they can rest up for tomorrow. Zangan. Legend. I learned a lot about him in Tifa's story. A soldier. Traces of Tifa. And you are? So good. Rashard Zangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Heck yeah. I love it. Such a good character in Drew. <laughs> what a legend. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Whoa! Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Thank you so much for the raid, Snikey. How you doing? What Don't is going sure. on? Thank you so much. At last count, 128. What a legend, man. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Thank you, Honeycut. Thanks so much for the lyric. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? Yeah, right. That's so messed up. I didn't know. So I love it because in the novel I just read by Kazushige Nojima, it actually I says, at the time. "Just here at the office, I see your cosplay." Bad, Heck yeah, it's like. From the moment we arrived, oh, here we go. Sephiroth just wasn't himself. Look at that shot. Ooh, that's a good photo. It's a good photo right there. I have to hit up photo mode for this. But yeah, I love that because. Um, in the book, it says Richard Zangan looks both youthful and old. They captured him perfectly in the game. What are you looking at? What's up, Dreads? This it could landscape. Be. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. Ooh. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. The we'll music. Do. So mysterious. Night. The redesign of his outfit is absolutely amazing. Sephiroth, like the detail they added to his belt and everything is so cool. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Hmm. Was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Aww. 
Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. Uh -huh. Is that Morgana? You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own. The last time she went up there, I know that story. <laughs> We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. I love this rendition of Tifa's team. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. Uh, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa! You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going and that's that. There will be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Legend. Pumpkin! Pumpkin! Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? It will be worth it. You're our guide? Yeah, Tifa! I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. Sure am. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. I love it. I love Come it. On. <laughs> Not if you remember to do your job. Called out. You can see he's very troubled here. And this I love this scene because it's like For a posterity, sir? He doesn't Not today. He doesn't want to take a picture and can they push him. Talk to him? It seems relatively harmless, but he's already really Sephora, irritated, you know? It mean a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on, where's the harm in that? All right. Uh, there? His forearms are about to burst out of the... coat. Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah, I guess we wait. Oh, if I was like, one more is already gone. All right, here we go. Such the a cool mountain. was halfway up Mount Evil. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Let's go. We're gonna get this sweet intro again, which I love. Let's do it. Tetsu no more. I love how they do this with the music. So beautiful. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. <laughs> Everyone. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Aw, that's so cool. Look at the view. It looks amazing. Wow. Yeah, I feel they probably increased the graphics here. It's great. Wow. Yeah, actually amazing. Sephiroth is just too beautiful, right? See, once you have Aaliyah as Sephiroth, that's when your whole worldview changes. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? I like how it has switchbacks too. The trail, it's like a real trail. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. <laughs> I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Yes, you really are the best. She's a beast, yeah. I read the book. Tifa is so powerful. It looks so good. The music. Come on. So beautiful. What a great opening, man. I love how they give you a little bit of taste of freedom in this part, too. Like, you'll be exploring much more later, but... So cool. So cool. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Let's go. Let's do it. And he moves so awesome. That's like the coolest thing. <laughs> Dude. 
absolutely beastly. Woo! Cook him. I got this trophy. Oh, we're getting trophies now. That was awesome. Yeah. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> all right, I'll take care of everything. Uh, demo save data confirm players who completed the demo. Oh, resume play from the village. Note that skipping will not affect gameplay. Skip to the village. Ooh, thanks for the follow, Erickson. I'm not gonna skip. I'm not gonna skip. I want to. Uh, I want to experience this again. It's fantastic. And like I know the way now, so we'll just go really fast and see those great scenes again. Yeah. It'll be quick. It really feels like climbing a mountain though. I've done a lot of hiking in my day in Nepal. And uh, I love how they do the bridges, the switchbacks and everything. It's really well done. Whoa. Yep. These little segments they do throughout are so uh, so natural how they implement them. I love it. Tifa, so strong. Soldier, you can do better than that. That's Zangan's you? best student. She's actually a beast. I was reading the book, like I was saying. Just you watch. With her training is absolutely insane. The stuff that Tifa did. Yeah, we gotta get an ability, I think, here. To get in the air, if I remember, from Bliss's awesome tutorial. Yeah. Once we're in the air, we can essentially fly forever. See? Let's go! I love the blade beams too. It's so awesome. Oh, already took him out. Alright, let's go. You do like hiking as well, Campfire? Yeah, it's it's a great uh It's a great activity to do, man. Especially in today's world, you know, we're so digital based. Great to get in there. I love that he bounces around with uh, trip slash. It's so cool. Look at this! I can fly, guys! I can fly! Yeah! Cloud flies now! They fly now? Yes, Cloud flies now. The music's so good, man. It's unbelievable. Cloud flies forever. It's Advent Children. I absolutely love it. A flying cloud! Wait! This part's great. Woo! Beautiful. Ooh! Well done, Trooper. Well done. Thank you. I love that Sephiroth is the only one that caught that that even happened. It shows like how good of a warrior he is. Like he knows what's happening in the fight, you know? At all times. I didn't know it was that sight. It was awesome. Flying cloud! I repeat, flying cloud! Oh wait, we took a hit, so we dropped now. Let's go. I think I'm gonna put triple slash. I've never used shortcuts in this game. I'm gonna put triple slash on a shortcut for the first time. I've never done it in remake. And I did hard mode and everything. I want to try it. We still have a long way to go. Yeah, I want to try. I'm also Shall gonna look at my volume. Pace? Hold on. Not unless we absolutely have to. Hi. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. There we go. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. I'll be careful. I'll squat. I'll squat. You better. Cool. See ya. How you doing, Leah? You need anything? Oh, heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna try setting a shortcut, man. I have never used it. Yeah, triple slash is like my favorite attack in the game. I never used it. So let's try, um, I actually don't know how to do it. So let's go to combat settings. Um, oh, sh shortcuts, okay. There, it's already set, L1 plus O. 
while on the ground. L1 plus O. Okay. Let's uh, let's see what we can do. Like I said, I'm gonna blast through this. I already know where to go. Yeah, they let you skip it. I'm just doing it again for the fun of it. Yeah, you can skip it right from the opening if credits. Right, you like can go right to the where the village Block. stuff was happening. Oh yeah, there it is. Triple blast on shortcut. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm speed running this now, man. We're speed running it now, guys. Oh, they're all dead. <laughs> yes. It is indeed where the fun begins. But I love the feeling of jumping and stuff. It's so fast compared to Remake. I mean, remake control the user. It's just like that much juicier, you know? Ooh, there I am. Let's get in the air, guys! Let's get in the air! These aerial attacks are so cool. Just the choreography of it all is amazing. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling for these, uh... I'm getting the feeling for these circuits now, man. It feels good. Oh, so you can just get into the air. Okay. Blitz was right. Yeah, you can just... You're done. I gotta say, that one felt pretty good. So yeah, after you start shooting a couple blade beams, if you hold it... What's up, Pan Marzipan? Good to see you. We're playing Rebirth. This is it. We're getting into it. We are getting into it. We're speedrunning this part. Like I said, I've already, uh, I've already done it. So I actually played the demo a couple of times. I loved it so much. Hey, not that way. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna move right through this pretty fast. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? I'm already back. Okay. Why do you let me guide that part and look bad in front of Sephiroth? Okay. But good to see you, Pam. What's going on? I still can't believe I'm playing it because it still feels like the demo right now. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I played this. Once I hit the next part, I think I'm going to lose my mind. Listen to music. It's so nice, man. I think I need to lower it though because I actually juiced up the, uh, the audio on my PS5, so I'm going to lower it a bit for you guys. Alright, here we go. This way. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. Let's go. To think I almost made you our guy. <laughs> thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have let us straight off a cliff. I love how he just roast glider. Yes. We got it us right off a cliff. That has to be a lot of pressure, though. I I appreciate how Tifa feels there. Greatest warrior on earth is like lead on. All right, let's go. Sephiroth, getting in there. I'm in. You still packing up stuff, girl? No? Alright, let's get in here. Cool outfit, thank you so much. Made by Aaliyah. The legend. I'm loving graphics mode right now, it looks fantastic, man. Probably gonna stick with it. Graphically speaking, it's really young baby. Password to the Shinra facility is guest. Yeah, that's all Sephiroth that typed in. He just went on a guest account real quick. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Whoa. Counter, counter, counter. That's how we deal with these guys. Counter all day, man. Woo! Oh, just in time for the trip slap. Oh man, we are cooking them, guys. Absolutely destroying. I love triple slash. It's my new best friend, man. Woo! Piece of cake. Amazing. Ooh, I don't remember finding this before. Wait, is this new? Bottle of ether, not good. I don't think I came back here before, that's really fun. You can really jump over, like, anything now. It's, I love how they do that. It's so hype. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> that's a lot of damage. Now for a while, but there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in. I don't want to get Mako poisoning. 
Turn this thing around, Cloud. We got work to do. We got work to do. Come on. Power washer. Power wash simulator, guys. Yeah. Oh, you can actually like sprint with this thing, I just realized. You can move faster. Gas levels reduced by 70%. Love it. Love it. No gas detected. Elevator access granted. All right, let's go. Yeah, I like how they're showing the size of the mountain. There's like little facilities and the big one on top of the mountain, which is so cool. I personally love it. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in there. <laughs> We are hauling, man. We're speedrunning this. Loving it. I think we're going to play Sephiroth soon after the bridge, right? The bridge coming up? Yeah, because the reactor's right up there. I love seeing it. So huge! Looks different than the new ones, too. Come on. Man, it really is remarkable how they make this feel like a, a journey, too. They did such a good job. It's not just like... I'm feeling really naturalistic with the um, with the jumping around too. The let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. I'm the guide. All right, Tifa. Damn, she's a hauling. I love that you can see like the whole world map over there. It's insanity. You can see Nibelheim down there too. How cool is that? Center Mansion. Everything's down there. Yeah, it feels important. It feels really sweeping. Ah! <laughs> wow. Tifa, are you okay? Insanity. Not really. Not really okay. This is so well done. What are you? The frog's out, man. He's out. <laughs> Dang, that's so messed up. Such a long way down, man. You'd be messed up after taking that fall in like full armor. You'd be done. Step Roger stands up through the air. That is hard, man. Like perfectly grab it and flying by. Okay. Alright, he found his friend. That's so sad, man. I'm surprised Sephiroth couldn't, like, use magic or something to grab him. It's tragic, man. But I love how he's not infallible, you know? He's not perfect. Look at the, like, mist water graphics over there. That's insane. Love how powerful they present Sephiroth. Yes. It's so cool, right? Just hands right up. I didn't make it. He's in fate's hands now. Yeah. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. <laughs> Can you get us to the reactor? He's all business right now. We're not going there. I said the reactor. Sorry, I... I don't think I can. Dang. I see. Well, yes, we sir. certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll be joining you up front this time. What? Let's your go. Performance review. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Good luck. Ha! <laughs> I love his attitude, how he's like playful about it. He knows he's like a legend, so he's just like, good luck. You better do well. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We got work to do. I will take the bench. Yeah, the variety of music too. You know, it's not just one track going up the entire mountain that, that makes a big difference. What do we got here? 
Is it HP? Yeah. I will definitely pop that on. Wait, what? Oh, it's because I'm in like a battle. Off you go. Sephiroth! Woo! I love how he launches him when he does that. Absolutely. Dude, I think they juiced up his attacks even after the demo. Incredible. Wow. I think they made him even stronger, man. I actually think they did. Insanity. What did that just say about party leader? Wait, 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 wait. Did that just say what I thought it said? Sephiroth is the leader. Okay, I think I get it. So Sephiroth's gonna take control when we start a battle. All right. More gas ahead. I see, I see. There's no way around it either. Let's go. We just have to go through. Only one way, kids. Straight to the cutscene. I love this scene. Here working, I really want to play. It's like the best game. I'm freaking out. Look at this. Look at the lighting, man. A Mako Spring. That's why I chose this color behind me. It's beautiful. Yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? It really is beautiful. What are you talking about? Who told you that? My oh. dad. And the mayor, if you must know. My dad. <laughs> Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? How did you ever get to be a soldier? <laughs> That's the best line. <laughs> to put it simply, how are the you knowledge even of here, the man? Is sealed within each orb. I did that not know this. Not only connects us to the planet. It's basic. It allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. How'd you get into magic for that matter? <laughs> Hold on, I'm watching. I can just I'm imagine sorry. what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. We should press on. Love that scene. <laughs> Love that scene, little hint of what's to come, too. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> let's fight on, shall we? Bring it on! <laughs> Sephiroth is too strong to concern itself with such things. <sighs> He's so strong, you don't even need to use techniques. He just decimates everything in his back. Like, Pure insanity. It really is pure insanity. Love playing as him. He can jump really high too, Cloud. He can jump almost like it's kind of like almost chest height or head height. It's amazing. Love it. Yeah, look how fast he climbs, man. It's incredible. Yeah, that frog gets right in there. Goes right to work. Goes right to work. Oh, I got frozen. Switch to cloud. Yep. I'm getting used to the shortcut. I'm getting used to it. We're getting a little bit, uh, a little bit cleaner. Woo! Cooked him. All right, follow Tifa. I can't believe how good. It, yeah, I agree. It looks absolutely mind blowing. Like, look at that. The ocean is so well rendered, man. Absolutely incredible. We talked about it before, so we won't take it as long here to appreciate it, but uh, 
when we played the demo, but it's mind blowing. Actually, amazing. Hey, look out for that. That can be a very dangerous endeavor. What you should do. All right. What's up? Creatures here. Wow. Hold still. This guy's pretty annoying, huh? You see the damage. Baggage! Jerk. Stand back! It's on now! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the slow-mo! <laughs> that was awesome! Get him! This won't be the last. Absolutely amazing. That was so sick. So this is a cool detail I actually didn't catch. Somebody else did. Look at how Sephiroth crosses this. Everybody else is so careful to keep their balance. Look at Sephiroth. He just walks super chill. Like he doesn't need to be so uh he doesn't need to be so careful. He's got insane balance. Alright, we're gonna skip that item, don't need it. Just early game stuff probably. Let's go. And we're gonna come to the second facility, I believe. That is a Z. If it's a fight you want, let's get to it. I won't let you down. I think the boss is coming up. Come now. Yeah, I'm actually gonna pop an item on uh, the cloud. I won't let you down. With triple slash. Pop over Sephiroth. I think you missed with triple slash. What the heck was that? Sephiroth is dead. I won't let you down. Damn. Let's go! I'm staggered. Get him! I love his uh wanna use magic too. Go Thundar. Stand back! Braver. Stand back. Oh, he's out. Hold on. This guy's dead. That one felt pretty good. Oh yeah. Did it feel good? We kind of got our butt kicked, man. <laughs> Did it feel good? Ultra. I still can't believe how great it looks. Dang, man. We got something for it though. Precision defense focus material. What the heck is that? That sounds very interesting. We have to look at that. But yeah, see, like that. That was a whole little extra area with a reward for going up there. I love it. Get these guys. They're so weak. They're so weak. They're so weak. They just me. Dude, Sephiroth's moves there is like the coolest choreography ever. I can't believe it. So great. So great. Woo! Popped right up there. They do a lot of cool shortcuts like that too. It didn't make me walk around. Just jump off. Alright, let's get the vacuuming here. Back in time, boys.
Double try. Let's go, don't get run over Sephiroth, don't get Mako sucked. What's up, Orange? Vincent, yeah, man, how you doing? Great to see you, Orange. Living the dream, man. Living the dream. Playing the game finally, man. It's been years and it's finally out, and it's just like... Unbelievable experience to be here. Good. I think the boss is coming up here. Actually, gonna pop this bench. We got a butt kick last time. So I'm curious, has anyone played dynamic difficulty? Like, is it hard? Or I guess it's only hard if you're winning a lot, right? If not, if you stink, then it's not so good. Right. Up ahead, looks like a way out. Ah, here we go. Here's the boss. Yeah. We're doing really good. Boston reactor. Wait. Huh? You fell in love again like a class. Ah, it's awesome. It's like. What? Get back. It's such a cool this design, way. man. Here comes the music. You said you wanted to be a hero. Wish I had. <laughs> I love that. It thinks we're after. I think it's a big improvement. So tell we're not. <laughs> really nice to be my guest. <laughs> I got this. You gotta keep your guard up. Yeah, let's go. Let's do some, let's do some stuff. Oh, Cloud is, uh, yeah. When we're done, he's pressed. Of course. Unfettered friendship we got with Zephyrod. How wild is that? It's all you. You're a good hand. Tell her flurry. Looks like we're on phase two. What was your favorite part about remake, man? It's just so good. Look at how he fights, man. Come on, upside down. Team up is so iconic. I know what to do here. We need a HB charge. Pretty mobile. And I'm gonna pop out a spell. Good thing I don't just fight with a sword. I need to get an ATB charge though. Go for the legs. Take out its legs. Now. I'm trying, dude, I don't have an ATB. There we go. Alright, we want to get an ATB charge right now and use focus thrust. That's gonna stagger up. I told you. All the focus attacks always stagger. I remember that from Rene. How cool is that? Cloud. Now let's just light him up with the good stuff. It's all you. Light him up. Next phase, maybe? Now. I won't let you down. We are messing this guy up right now. He's good, boss. He's almost dead. Yeah, I think it's the next phase. He's done, man. In the office. <laughs> You're practically way to do it. I'm excited. Such a puppy. Such a puppy. Oh, 
Let's go. Don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. Double helix. No eye in synergy. Yes. So awesome. Come on. Come on, man. Too iconic. Light him up. He's like locked up on his HP. He's not taking any damage. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's been in now. Do you see that dodge? Unintentional cool moment. I love how you get some tips to defense class. Defense. What are you doing? Another game addict. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Cloud's locked up. Gotta get him out. Oh, looks like he's already out. Push the Cloud, and here we go. Focus press. That'll do it. Oh my god, Sephiroth Limit Break. I've never gotten this. I think Aaliyah got it. Yeah. Octa Slash! Oh my goodness, yeah. He deleted him. That was amazing. No! So cool. Take it from here. Yes. I love the teamwork. I love how they show Sephiroth who's better, but he lets him shine. He lets Cloud get in there and shine. Nice work. Aw. Nice work. <laughs> okay, hold up. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Yeah. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. I'll get Tell to it. Tell me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will. Teamwork and synergy on the battlefield, yeah. I love it. At the reactor now, I think. It's so cool looking, the design. The music. Yet another version of Anxious Heart. Well done. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! No way. I want to go too. Please. Aww. Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on. Keep the young lady safe. Come on. That's funny. Carry on. Oh. Here we go, we're about done. You better keep me safe. I'm so nervous to see the next part, man. My heart is beating, I'm like, it's coming. Past demo is coming, guys. Yeah. Post demo. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output. Like most yeah. last gen models. Then let me guess. The villagers don't have a clue about this. No action though? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. R&D, oh. yep. Creepy. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. I love that line. That is freaking chilling, man. Whatever you see, you're not to speak of it. Classic reactor, man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Doors busted open. It's like something's wrong. Shh. Creepy version of the Mako Reactor theme. Nice Dutch angle. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first. <laughs> Iconic. I love how they toned down the Curse's score. Uh, type lines like that. He didn't respond. Alright, here we go. The madness begins, guys. Madness begins. <laughs> the madness begins. Okay. Yes! I can't wait. I'm good, thank you. Oh Joe. You go, guys. You are really something.
It's so creepy. What it. are those things? I'm gonna let this play. This is beautiful. Genova? Wasn't that... go guys buckle up it's about to get wild <laughs> the camera walking yeah it's really good and there's a very um there's a subjective feel to a lot of this coming up that i really enjoyed how they did it um it feels a little bit unhinged a little bit scary and i think it's just great in general how they did the uh Tighten in the pressure here until he's gonna explode. He's gonna pop. The madness. There we go. This shot to me is iconic. It's so creepy right here. This one right here of him up on the stairs, like with the Genova behind him. It's terrifying. WD forty. What is that? What are you doing? Yeah. These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. Here we go. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. I love his performance here. Oh, to birth a new breed of monster. The resentment in his voice. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. Here we go. There were other subjects. Look. Here we go. Can't believe it, you know. Too much to digest. Am I even human? The mixing of Genova's theme there was really clever. I like. Eventually, it. we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. Oh. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers. So he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Jeez. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. I love but it. What about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He <laughs> left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. He left. I love how they keep jumping back to this. Reminding you what's happening. We're in a room talking. This is being told as a story, which is super interesting. Who 
it's cool. It's like a reducted version of uh, of on that day five years ago, which is obviously named after the sequence from the original game. So, here we go. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Yep. That guy. Mm -hmm. Sephiroth. Ah, uh, I did see him leave a little while ago. Yeah, there's a lot of visual improvement. Like the details from from remake, they're a lot better Hold down here. Inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too Let's much go. exposure to Mako, and we ought to bring him some medicine. I love that, and this is so interesting. They're actually like concerned for Sephiroth. He is everybody's hero, and they would want to, you know, if make sure he's okay. I love this song. It's one of my favorite in FF7. Like that harp right there. Boom, boom. So well done. Arch tempered. Glad I can catch a stream. Thank you so much. War within. So glad to have you. Even so, the rent on that plot is basically what kept the village of Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is clean and black. Do you think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Here we are. So creepy. I can't wait to explore this later in the story. It's going to be insane. Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Yeah, this is so creepy. Here we go, guys. Ahem, Vincent? Vincent, are we gonna see you? Oh boy. I can't wait to see Vincent. I'm gonna freak out, man. Never knew it had a basement. Was news to me, too. Yep. Doubt anyone in the village. Is he in there? We don't know. Alright, guys, here we go. Just taking this horrifying atmosphere for a second. Cold, horrifying atmosphere, and that famous shot, which I already got in the demo. So we won't do photo mode now. I actually recreated the uh, Dutch angle shot for rendered background from the original. So let's just watch and enjoy. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. Thanks for the follow, Temper. A life form stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. Genova. Beautiful shot. 7, 7, 7, 1977. Genova. Yeah. Verified as an ancient. Oh. Uh, MEGL 913-1977. Genova Project approved. Akaria, how you doing? So, they named the life form Genova. Oh boy. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, the Sephiroth. The music right there is so you good. Got there. His rage is growing. Leave me be. That was Sephiroth's rage, just peaking. I love it. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like mm -hmm. a man possessed. So great. The books piling up. There's a Dutch angle, they put it in, see? Very subtle, but it's there. Twisting. Nibelheim. We got Genova. Seventh day. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Here we go. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Bring that thing, please. Good thing he brought it. I love how you can see the magnet on his back that the Buster Sword snaps to. I think that's such a cool detail that no one talks about. And you hear it go. There we go, guys. Here we go. <laughs> that laugh. Ah, oh, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. 
Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. I love seeing the images. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. Here we go. The Genova project was approved soon after. Here we go. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas' wondrous experiment. Amazing line. He created you? Bad thing to say. The Advent Children reference, man. He's whimpering. Is he crying? The end part of One Wing Angel. The flames grow brighter. In a second I identity. Know. Mother is waiting. Did you see that one frame? <laughs> he became Genova. Did you see that? Hey. Genova overlapped him in the same hey, position. Hold on. He's no longer kind, he's no longer gentle. He's no longer holding back his strength. That was just actual strength for once. I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Did you notice they cut the lights here to make it more dramatic in the hotel? That was really or clever. tried, at least. Or cloud, man. Kingdom Hearts vibe. Oh yeah. I mean, this is Kingdom Hearts very inspired by this for sure. Uh, the same. What? Same creator, Nomura. Created all these characters and Kingdom Hearts characters. All right, here we go, guys. I I don't know if I'm ready. After this, we are in totally new territory. Get in there. The villagers need your help. I want to see Zangan fight. I want to see Zangan fight. I really want to see his fighting style. That's that's like my big want right now. That would mess your leg up so much. So Cloud just took a massive hit from Sephiroth, knocked unconscious for untold amount of time, at least an hour I'd say. Now just got his leg crushed. He is not doing good. Let me throw my son to him there. I'm sorry, he's gone. <laughs> This, and then Cloud says, Mom, this is the same feeling as the plate fall in is Remake. True? Did of having the oh, people. Right. And he's still here. <laughs> Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, There's Xander talking to those guys, yeah. But he, why would he? And the delivery here is really good. Oh my goodness. I'm hearing uh, those chosen by the planet. What a perfect time for it. The photographer, man. He caused all this, I'm telling you guys. The photographer caused all of this. Hold on, Mom. He just had to take a picture of him. Insanity. First time seeing this, I've played the demo. Yeah, I'm about to be in totally new territory, and I don't know if I'm ready. I'm gonna freak out, man. He's just like giving up that guy. I love that they slowed it down because you hear the music, and it's just like a death march. And it's like a dream, man. You gotta get to your mom's door, but you cannot. Everything is stopping you from getting to your mom's door. Your leg's broken. Um, the village is burning and collapsing around you. You gotta take a detour. Like, it's just agonizing moments. I gotta get to my mom. I gotta get to my mom. I love how they did this. 
and you just get to hear the music like it's just like degraded version of the song that it builds up here see the music's building up come on I'm so close new territory coming up and that's his house Okay. I'm gonna raise the volume actually because this is this is too epic, man. There we go. There we go. Come on. Yeah, this is a real this is a real phenomenon that happens if you do that with a fire, right? If it explodes in your face. I want you to notice something. Did you notice his glove switched to modern cloud? Glove, see? And then back to soldier cloud. Amazing detail. Got a scream in the background. Here we go. Hey! Hey! Here we go. New hey, territory coming up. You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. I got you. Come on. You Let's gotta catch, catch you that up. detail? <gasps> nah. <gasps> Horrifying. Oh. Here we go. Here we go, guys. This? That to me is the coldest kill. The way he did that, like it was an insect on the ground, man. There he is. Unbelievable. Stop! You sick son of a bitch! Let's burn up! Drop the sword! So it's literally like, it's literally, they're at an impasse. Anybody that moves to shoot him dies. Watch this. Each person gets closer, and then he kills them. Each person raises their gun, they die. So it's like, uh, they're just dead. <laughs> like, they move, they're dead. It's like a nightmare. Still in there, but he's gone, man. The music. Here we go. New territory. This is it. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh. Showed up. Dad decided that 
he was going to confront her. Dad. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! who robbed you of the planet. Same shot. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> the laugh. They were mine by right. This planet, too. For I have been chosen. The music. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my god, that was unbelievable. <laughs> I couldn't have done it better. Absolute then, perfection. That's the last thing I remember. Absolute perfection. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Him. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. <laughs> Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. <laughs> Only dumbasses believe. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. Unbelievable. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. Incredible. But why come back now? Yeah. After five years, doing who knows what. Mm. Yeah. Because he wants to finish what he started. Yeah. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Huh? Yeah. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Yeah. <sighs> yeah it's like, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Hmm. Let me take a look. Aw. <sighs> wow. You weren't kidding, were you? <laughs> let's get you back to the room. Aw. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. The music. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our head to rest? Aw. I love this. Just that everyday life, man. You never saw this once. Uh, oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. <laughs> Sweet dreams. That's funny. See you tomorrow. You gotta share a bed with Cloud, dude. Sorry. Red gets the other bed. Huh? He's gonna sleep on the couch? Dang. Aw. Love these scenes. Hey, Aerith? You awake? This is so nice. Barely. Why? I was wondering, huh? what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? Oh my god. And you're asking me this? Huh? Just had a feeling you'd know. Oh. Probably did at one point. Hmm? All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or. Maybe erased? What? Hmm. By whispers? Yeah. This is so nice. Maybe that's why. Why what? She can't say this it. This is gonna sound crazy, <gasps> but as far as I know. Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Oh. oh my god. This is amazing. They have to add this. Thank you, Happy. This is an incredible scene. Yeah. So human. I love it. It's perfection. Perfection. Wow, that was unbelievable. Cloud, <gasps> you up? Oh my god, is she gonna talk to him about it? This is so amazing. They have to do this, like it's too human not to. He's probably just gonna deny it and be like, I was there. And it might be like, you're, um, 
your story versus mine, which I think is a fantastic way to look at it. Yeah. I'm saving it. And it's nighttime on the menu screen. I cannot say enough about that scene. That was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Seems like he's grunting, not sleeping. Dude, the way that Sephiroth said they were they were mine by right when he said you killed my mom and you killed Tifa. That was chilling. That was absolutely horrifying how he said that. Really, really good. I'm I'm mind blown. I couldn't have done it better. Sorry. Was, <gasps> Did I wake you? Okay. Nope. She's gonna say it. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, uh it's nothing really. Yep. There's just something I need to ask you. I love this. So can we talk? Sure. Great. But not here. <sighs> Follow me. I love this. It's gonna be like your story versus mine type thing. Who who's right and who's misremembering, I assume. Oh! oh my god. What the hell? You know that I killed her. Oh. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Whoa. Oh my god. This is great. Absolutely genius. The music. Yeah. Dude. A little jazz at night and calm? I can't believe it. It's so well done. I'm just... I'm actually mind blown. Yeah. Sephiroth's playing my games on a new level, man. This is genius. This is how it should be. Yeah, it's already, it's already better than the original. Those couple scenes, like... The confusion and doubt that you feel. Look at this rooftop. Calm is amazing, man. They nailed this. All right, let's see. This is so good. Of course they have this scene. Genius. Genius change. Do you think Midgar's over there? Oh. Anyway. There's something I need to ask you, too. Oh. Shoot. I love this. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. <gasps> saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? Oh. <sighs> so horrifying. Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <laughs> that makes sense, Claire. Come on. Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. That's but sad. But here we are. Here, look. The scar. My oh. scar. That proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. Yeah. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. Yeah. And where were you again? Oh. In fact, where have you been this whole time? Oh. For five years. This is amazing. You know I can't tell you that. Why? Of course you can't. This is so good, man. Sorry, I just need some space. Yeah, I like that. It bothered her so much. Sephiroth's a genius, man. It bothered her so much that she didn't ask him. She didn't mention it to him. She was too upset. Yeah, you question your friend or hurt her feelings. I think, wow, that was really well done. It's like, yeah, man, she's literally dead. And he says in the flashbacks, you killed Tifa. Like, he really believed it. So that's why I like, it's not like Sephiroth put that idea in his head. He's kind of reminding him. He's like, dude, I shopped her with my like 14 foot sword. Like she's not coming out of that. So I was like, yeah. 
I can't believe how well this is done. Like, the past three segments have been my favorite in, in the entire game so far. They've been the entire remake, uh, remake trilogy so far. I'm not even kidding. Oh, another scene. Here we go. So sad. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. Ooh. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. Mm. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Damn. That's so sad. I love how they're bringing the uh, the drama in. This is amazing. Have a little weight to it, you know? Can I go down and talk to this guy? That was unbelievably well done, man. I'm telling you. Absolutely fantastic. They were mine by right. Like, I, I could kill them. I could do whatever I want with them. They're mine. Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time. Hmm. And my body's never let me forget it. Damn. It's been a good many years since I served, but still feels like yesterday. That's wild. Can I leave or not? Probably not. Yeah, I can't go out at night. Yeah, Cloud fumbled that like nobody's business, man. He was, uh... I mean, I like it though, because Cloud is not good socially. He doesn't know what the heck's going on. So he brought it up in a really, like, rude way. That seems like... You know, he should have just said, like, I'm, I'm actually really confused. I don't know what's going on. I can't go in here. Best to leave them alone for now. Yeah, that was amazing. What's up, Willard? Yeah, this is absolutely masterful, what they're doing so far. I cannot believe what I just saw. Like, they just brought humanity to those scenes that just doesn't exist in the original. It's just like, anyway, there's no explanation why Tifa didn't bring that up in the original. And now it makes perfect sense. You two fight. No. Dang. We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Bear is such a good like dad figure. You two fight. Night. Tomorrow is another day. So good, man. So good. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> wow, what a trophy name. That's so perfect. Definitely for this game, Never Meet Heroes. Some of the best scenes in the whole remake trilogy so far, yeah. Absolutely. So much life brought to it. And man, shout out to uh, Britt Perrin as Tifa. That was really well done. All that stuff. That trophy was funny. <laughs> Anyways, don't meet your heroes, kids. Like, what? And it's morning time. Everybody left Cloud alone, man. Like, These guys are... He has a sulker, man. How's he gonna make up for this, man? This is. You better say sorry or something, man. What is that? What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Hmm. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Cards. <laughs> Cards, yes! Oh my god. You can now play Queen's blood. Find other players denoted with the icon around the world and challenge them. Oh, heck yeah, guys. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. Defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents. Oh, I'm so pumped. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks in the main menu. Yes! I can't wait to learn how to play. Learn how to play? Oh, absolutely. I'm so pumped, man. This is going to be triple triad all over time. <laughs> Ooh, the music. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles. Okay, simple enough. So we take Cactuar, Gargantuar, and we can place him, uh, place him on one of the highlighted tiles. Okay, we'll put him right there. Opponent's turn, so how does it work? Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. Okay, the lane total. New positions. I love the music. 
New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. Okay, I see those little emerald guys, yeah. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power. While the positions a card will add to the board are indicated. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. The positions are on the card. They formed a club in the company for this? I love it. I don't quite understand it fully yet. Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of its positions. Okay. So yeah, we want... I think, yeah, the positions mean the... Uh, the positions mean the emerald guys. Yeah. So I want to place, uh, for example, this one. And then we get two guys. Yeah. Now we have two guys on that square. When one of your cards position tiles overlaps with the position you control, the position rises in rank. That's why it says two, I think. Yeah. Which is denoted by the number of bling in the top the top corner of the card. Thus, in order to play more proper cards. Okay, so we want to put more troops on the board, I think. Uh, cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of pawns in the top left corner of the card. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you will have to raise the rank of your position. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. So, it's just the card game, the composer. Don't mind me, I'm going in, baby. So, okay, I think I get it. Yeah, so like, for example, on top of the soldier right here, uh, it says three. So we actually don't... We actually don't have enough yet to deploy this guy. Yeah. Rank two... Um, rank two position, try placing your rank two card on it. Oh, okay, I get it. So you can actually place it only on the, um... Well, this one says rank three, though. Interesting. Okay, so we actually overtake his guy if we place this here. Yeah. Because we already had one there on the bottom, it ends too. <laughs> we let the composer cook. Because we already have it on the bottom, it adds a second guy. I get it. That's a cool system. It's a really cool system. Claiming... Alright, this is what I'm curious about. If it's like triple triad and you can switch... When one of your card's positions overlaps, you claim that position as yours. Note however the claim position will raise its rank. Okay. So, he's gonna claim... Okay. You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. Yeah, so that'd be the five. The numbers on the left represent your power, while ones on the right represent your opponents. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. These are the tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power and more lanes than your opponent. In the event you can place a card, you can pass. When both players pass, the game will end. So you pretty much get to the last position, uh, and then when the game ends, whoever's ahead more, I think, I think is what's happening. Well, let's just screw around. Let's just screw around. We'll learn as we go. Crystalline Crab. So, okay. Let's add three to the bottom, for example. We put this guy here. That's great. There's three guys on the board down there. But he has three on the right. So my question is, can he place stuff like over my cards? I don't think so. I don't think so. We're trying to figure this out. So like this will add more power to this row, clearly. Gargantuar. Yeah, I think I think this is our best choice right now. Let's do that. So yeah, five. I I am kind of winning right now if I count up. But no, now he's winning. I'm pretty sure. Magic pot. I don't know what that is. Plus two, plus two? Oh heck yeah, that's really good. Let's do plus two, plus two. Oh, and there's little tokens on the side. You see that? There's little tokens. All right, so now can I place in the middle, for example? Like, what if I do this? If I do this, I think I, like, pretty much crush. Probably the best. We can make that seven? Oh, this. So it lowers the rank on top. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this. I think I'm winning right now. I think we're tied up right now. Actually, he's winning right now. Okay, so I have one more card to place. This is this is fascinating. I like it. Moo. I think if I put right here, I might win. Let's see. Okay, end match. What's gonna happen? Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Once only the player with the higher power in a lane has their power added to the score. In other words, no matter how high your power in a lane, if it is less than your opponent's, will not count as a goal. Okay, I get it. So it counts as one. After calculating the winner of each lane, the player with the total score wins. I get eight. It takes the big number too? Okay, so I crushed him then. Victory! We got it, guys. That concludes Clean Blood tutorial. You can add more cards to your collection by winning them off other players or purchasing booster packs? Stop. You can purchase booster packs? That's so fun, huh? <laughs> End up becoming the best player on the planet? Oh, you know we're gonna do that. Awesome! Yeah, I think I'll just play in the, uh, in the world and discover. That is so fun, man. I love how they did it right there. Try making friends since you just, you know, really were mean to Tifa for no reason. Um, <laughs> just a card game. The composer. Let me cook, this baby. Is the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. It was so good. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. Barrett. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Soldier boy. Sound advice. Adjust your party's gear and equipment material in the main menu. Okay. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, Books. but the first official one was built here in Calm. Cool. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. All right. That was unbelievable, man. I'm still it's so impressed by everything that I've seen so far. Like, it's finally, amazing. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Oh, yeah. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Yeah. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt uh -huh. until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yeah. Red. I love it. I love it. Party level? Oh, it's so hype. Party oh, level ESP. Uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Amazing. This is great. Hmm. The radio reporting Zach made our situation. Was it actually? I couldn't hear because he was talking over the other guy. That's awesome. Um, overcoming challenges, helping people in need. And exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. This sounds so good, guys. The music. It's one of my favorite songs ever written. It sounds so good. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm in awe right now. You're already here. Girl, this game is unbelievable. Listen. I just saw it like past the demo. Right past the demo. Best stuff in the whole trilogy so far. I was, it's unbelievable, yeah, I was unbelievable. Aaliyah's here, everybody say hi to Aaliyah. Can you do me a huge favor? Um, can you fill this for me? And can you bring me like a couple paper towels because this might get messy. Uh, I might, but let me just get because I won't have like anything to wipe it. Okay, yeah, if you can bring me paper towels, it'll be sick. You're the best girl. The calm before the storm, literally. Now, guys, I'm like, 
I'm reeling from what I just saw. I want to go back and watch it again. It was that good. But the Sephiroth scene? Unbelievable. Like a and it was so sad. And she's like, head. me and my dad went there to hide. Dude, my heart sank. My heart sank. I actually got emotional. That was really sad. Yeah, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And this music's great. Queen's Blood is sick. Is, this is is this this is the best Final Fantasy game ever made, isn't it? I think it's the best FF game ever made. How big is the map? It's let's take a look. It's big. We're in the sound right now, so. The music's so nice, man. I can't believe it. Look at how it's the same as the original. You got the clock tower and stuff. Oh, comms big too. They made it look so great. But it's the same layout as the original. Oh, hi. It's random villager number whatever. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I this is absolutely peak Final Fantasy. I think it's the best FF game. My prediction may have been right, guys. May have been right. But look at that clock tower. It's right out of the original. Thank you so much, guys. I can just rip it off. Okay, thank you so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this off for one second, guys. To make my eating experience better. much of that perdition is nostalgia. Perdition? Ah, oh, how you doing, Deus? The random banter's fantastic? Yeah. The details, exactly. The details, man. That, like I said, that moment where, uh, where she's like, me and my dad went there to hide, uh, that was unbelievable. Because it, it made perfect sense. Instead of like, oh, my dad, um, you know, ran up and like, fought him to, it doesn't make any sense, you know? That was a lot more impactful, I thought. Ambient dialogue is great. Yeah, it's so good. I'm gonna have a couple bites of this as we, as we play. Mm. I'm telling you, man. My prediction was this is gonna be the best Final Fantasy ever. So far, it is. I think it actually is. Oh, you said how much of the prediction is nostalgia? I would say zero. I mean, it's from what I'm experiencing right now. And just knowing, like, what they have in, um, the story they have in Seven is just too good, Davis. The material is too good. They haven't touched on this material. Um, they haven't gotten to this level of material since, like, I would say Final Fantasy X. Hmm. The Rusty Arrow. What's that? Armor Shop, maybe? The chaos of Midgar, it's nice. Yeah, first town that's not Midgar, and look at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Nothing like a leisurely yeah. You guys got any snacks, though? What are you eating? Mm. Variety store, yeah, we gotta walk around and see some stuff. But I like how they're already talking about the party level and how it's gonna raise up. The most FF, FF ever? Heck yeah. You think I'm correct? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, just from what I've seen, like... The writing and remake was good. This is next level. And this is the thing, guys. FF7 original obviously is fantastic. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Everybody thinks it's the best. They made it so much better. They took something that was, like, essentially perfect and made it so much better. That's very hard to do. In fact, most of the times that people do that, 
people are like, you made it worse. Why did you change it? These aren't changes, they're little additions, and they honestly translated and just rewrote the dialogue so much better. Oh my goodness. Sephiroth's line. They were mine by right? Absolutely horrifying. I think that was my favorite change. <clears throat> I think that was my favorite. That whole scene. And they actually did justice to the pre-rendered original scene. Did you see that? Where he rips a Nova, it's the same exact shots. One for one, same exact shots. So just like the cinematic, um, the cinematic sort of referential treatment of it. The same thing with Sephiroth and the Fire too. Absolutely amazing. I've seen with Tifa and Aerith. And then Cloud, like it's just setting up the theme of doubt, questioning himself for the Not entire like game. I love it. Clear your head. <clears throat> yeah, Rebirth and Dune, like come on. We're eating good. We're eating good, guys. Let me just finish this and I'll keep playing. <laughs> Gonna order something, Snake? Alright. The original commercials? Yeah, exactly, Crimson. It's too good. It's too iconic. Back in 97. Amazing. Bro, I love this look. It looks like... Uh, do we have any Europeans in the chat? Let us know, but to me, yeah, it's like vaguely German. It's, it's so beautifully done. It's so charming. A lot of different NPCs, too. Oh, look at this guy. Who's this guy? <laughs> this stuff looks really cool. Thank you, Akaria. Yeah, I'm curious what you think of those scenes out of context, Akaria. Um, like the ones that we just watched. Interesting. Not knowing the full story, but. Man, it was well done. Big, big shout out to Brick too for that acting. That was wild. Wild. I'll run around for a second before I have my next bite here. Going to the stores and stuff. Look at this, it's so alive, man. Look at all the shops and everything. There's so much to see. Alright. This says the rusty arrow. Is this the armor? <laughs> the music, listen! Oh wait, there's Tifa. Hold on. My washing machine's given up the ghost. You don't think it's got something to do with the drop in? Okay, so this is super interesting. Look at Tifa. There's like a little symbol over her face that seems like almost like a sad, a sad face right now because he was mean to her. Even not knowing the characters that felt for them. Awesome, Makari. Yeah, good to know. Uh, I was curious. Morning. Morning. Oh. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. Oh. I noticed. Come on, apologize, dude. Hey, man. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? The water tower at Nibelheim. The place I made the promise to you. Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. Oh, you remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? Aw. With uh, a bit of green in there? Yeah. Dang, alright, see, he's, he's like, right, let me make up for that really quick. Let me make up for that really quick. Yeah, I know the exact dress. That's exactly what I was, I mean, everything I see reminds me of that promise. Everything. <laughs> so how does actions affect his relationship? Aw. Huh. I told you, see, she was like neutral. She was neutral because we hadn't done anything. Like, we hadn't participated in any of these conversations. That was really cool. Oh, that's got to be the best response, yeah. But, so what instantly comes to mind is, dude, the replay value on this game. The replay value. You get different conversations with everybody in different, like, they're going to say different stuff. Actually, amazing. Like, I bet if you're like, I don't know, just a water tower, she's probably like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you can tell she'll be disappointed because 
She wanted, um... My washing machine's given up the she wanted to remember that. Don't think it's got something to this is such a quiet, peaceful town. It is a quiet, peaceful town. Alright, there's people dancing over here. Let's go see what they're up to. Brother ships can go in red? Oh, probably. You're just a jerk to everybody? Look at this! People, like, taking a photo or something? And don't forget to smile. Dude, they have, uh... They it's like Venice feet. over there! They have gondolas. That's amazing. Um, these guys got the moves over here, guys. What do you think? <laughs> wow. This guy's giving flowers in the back? What are you doing? This is amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. I love the uh, sort of relationship. This motto take allows Builder. us to live in comfort. I want to go up the clock tower next. Wow. You can see Midgar from there. I got to check to make so sure cool, sectors man. And the music comes back in when you get away from the uh, the diegetic sound. One day I'll be telling everyone how you made it in As I thought you guys on YouTube. <laughs> take a photo mode selfie. Yeah, I could. Look at all this. It's just so cool to be in calm, man. Like, and there's a humongous variety of NPCs. Like, so many more than Remake. Just thinking about what might have happened to my family makes me sick. Oh no, but God. I've tried to contact them so many times now, but nothing. Yep. I can only pray that they're safe. Oh man, interesting. Whoa, I can play cards. Told me you can't get enough of that card game. Yep. We gotta play. Yeah, it's true. All right. How's about we give these two bit chumps a whooping? Oh, looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. That's funny. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But first, let me introduce you to Nene, master ventriloquist. Now she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards. And she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, so it'll funny. make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? <laughs> are ya? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, we'll play. Let's play a little bit. Alright, who do I have in my deck? So, it looks like the people that I had before. Okay, so 15 is your deck. I don't think I have anything else to edit it with, so we'll probably just call it a day. Oh, also, it's interesting to see that the security officer... Okay, so yeah, each, each type is like a consistent, um, it's a consistent grid. So like, it's kind of like a triple triad in Final Fantasy VIII. Like, that's your card. If you have it, it has those, those spaces. So obviously they'll be like really, really good ones. And they'll be decent ones and stuff. <clears throat> but it's going to be about the grid and how it works. Alright, let's begin the match and just see what we can do. We might lose, but let's play around. Ooh. Different music. Hmm. Relaxing. If you don't like the cards you're drawing, you can put them back in your deck. Oh. Can I play high rank cards right away? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> What'd you up to? You? Beat up. Beat up. Yeah, I was hungry too. Thank you so much for this. Talking about Ali getting those squats in. Um, <laughs> we win with that gremlin doll. Yeah, that would be cool, right? Just take that instead of the cards. <clears throat> Interesting. Alright, so we can put stuff back. But I. Okay, I'm just gonna play. Draw blood! Here we go. I was just thinking, um... I want, I'd be surprised if World of Warcraft doesn't do something like this. That'd be a really good idea. Because all the monsters and characters they could do. Like, oh, here's a, um... 
you know, whatever card. And I hope in this game they eventually have like Cloud card, Tifa card, because that's how it was in FF8. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Seems like a... Uh, seems like a pretty good opener. We'll throw him down right here and uh, increase our, our troops. I'm not sure what the like red space is. They have Hearthstone. That's right, they have Hearthstone. Yeah, yeah. I was like, does Warcraft have the card game? Of course they do. Interesting. He's got spaces like that, but what does that mean? Because the board isn't actually that big. Oh, I see. So it's bigger than the board, and you just place it accordingly. All right, I see. Like security officer, if I put him here, that's a pretty good placement, I think. I'm learning. I'm learning. That music, man. They might bring it into the game. I was gonna say, like, yeah, if they had it in the game, that would be so much fun, man. Just another activity to do, you know? This is some great jazz, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's do this. Just soldiers everywhere. So you can't, okay, you can't put your card on another card, so it is like triple triad in that respect. I'm gonna go with four and just flop them right here to increase my number there. Alright. I'm technically winning right now. Oh, you're right, the card rank. I forgot about the card rank. Yeah, I probably should have waited on that guy. Alright, so there's this, like, X on a couple of my cards. I think the X means it actually wipes out their card. That's what I'm assuming. Um, we will see about that. I'm actually going to take his troops here, and we'll see if that does anything. Uh, we'll see if that's good or bad for me. I'm still learning. They said it might be bad? Yeah, so he took his troops back pretty easily. Okay. So maybe it wasn't a good choice. Now he is winning. Lepicron, he was in uh, the DLC, I remember that. We can make that six. I'm gonna go with this. But then he might take that. See, I'm trying to, trying to figure out how this works. <clears throat> I wanna figure out what this like nullify card does. We can't use him. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to lose this because I only have so much I can do here. In fact, I think this is all I can do and then I have to pass. Because he's going to take that space, right? No. I think I have to pass, right? Yeah. So I think they win by actually quite a margin. Oh my god, it decimated me. <laughs> Defeat. <clears throat> try again. We'll try quick and then we'll get back to the story. Problem is my deck kind of stinks. I have the starter, so. <clears throat> I see. Okay. So I put those back into my deck, and then I'll get new ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fun. Right, I'm gonna start lower this time, and see if that um, helps me out a little bit. I need to pay more attention to the card numbers than the troops on the board. I was looking at the emerald numbers a lot. But I don't think they're as important. 
Alright, with a, with a stance like that, I feel like this is pretty good. Let's do that. What's up, Artemis? Uh, I'm in calm right at the beginning. Chapter 2? I believe, anyway. Dropping the basic troops. Thank you. <laughs> So theoretically, let me try something. Oh, I see. Okay, so I just got destroyed. Yeah. The reason I can't deploy any cards is I have no troops on the board, so I'm getting it now. They need troops on the board to play cards, right? Right, so he's gonna decimate me now, I think. I, I can't play anything. Yeah, the match is over. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. They ended it instantly. <clears throat> okay, so... Alright. I was focusing not enough on that this time. Let's begin match and switch those guys out. But absolutely zero way to deploy cards. Um, I'm gonna put... Put this guy back. Put this guy back. I still don't know what the X does. Does anyone know what the X does? And I'll put Queen B back. Now let's play. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got Queen B back. I, mean, I only have so much stuff, so they gave it back to me. <laughs> Alpha dunk. <laughs> I mean, I'll do this again. This time I won't, like, silence my own troops. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So I should play the rank 2 card on a rank 2 spot. Like that. Is that what you're saying? Right? For example, I could play this guy here, but does it really get me anything? Yeah, I have to play him in that spot. Okay. So like, I could play the rank 4 guy, but that's actually a pretty bad spot for him. I'm having trouble a little bit with like trying to figure out how I can get more. Alright, I want to put this guy here and see what happens. We gotta stop Nene from winning. Dang it. <laughs> Thank you, Nay Nay! Right, let's do that. Now we got a three spot there. I want to win so I can take one of the cards, you know? So, for example... Yeah, that's not a good play. I need to bring out more troops. So I'm kind of finished if I do this. It's interesting. If I do that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I got troops on the board. I needed that one. Rank four guys, rank two. Oh, I see. I was reading it wrong. So let me ask you this. It says rank two just two little figures. What does the four number mean again? Is that just the score you get on the side, right? So this guy's a rank two. Okay. I gotta be careful now. Put this guy here, and then we'll be able to do a rank two on the bottom, maybe. Let's see if he takes that spot. Alright, now... I'm gonna deploy this guy. And then this is a rank two right here, so... Because he's got a high score, it'll give me 10, and I think I win, right? I think I win, guys. Let's see how it goes down. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I finally get it. I was reading the card wrong. I thought it was 2 as in the number. That's that's the score it adds to your final thing. I get Cactuar! Dude! 
Ooh, this guy packs one hell of a punch. But hey, you can't win them all. Besides, what really matters is you were brave enough to take on a bona fide card shark like Pretty Boy here. Sometimes you. you gotta take the L if you're serious about upping your game. You gotta take Listen, the L. <laughs> you got what it takes what to the heck? I bet my bottom gill on it. Now why don't you show Bloody your appreciation for being such a good sport? Thank you for playing cards with me, mister. This kid's got a split personality. I think it's, I like how they show that you beat him on top of their head. I think it's um, just their way of coping with losing. Be like, I didn't lose. It was, it was Nene. It was the doll who lost. I'm good. Baron Kyle Gate. Right? The towering walls um, can I actually take this? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't want to go down to there. I was hoping I could take the, uh, the boat. The gondola. This place is huge, man. It's amazing. Got some tunes. Oh my god, it's Aerith. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Aerith is here. Finally decided to get up. There she is. Yeah. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards... What's up, Heather? Wanna climb the clock tower together? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Cool. Whoa. Crystals and stuff? Look at this place. Dude. This is where it all began. This is amazing. The first Loved your recent post. Thank you so much. You talking about the Vincent one? Yeah, I just had the Vincent cosplay on like a few Those minutes ago. Wore it for a few hours. I was like, alright, I take a break. <laughs> Hey there! Start eating Welcome you. to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Indeed. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Okay, what's this? Uh, skill points. Oh, this is going to be the sphere grid, isn't it? Oh, I'm so hyped. I love the sphere grid. Tutorial me, yes. Looks amazing. The orange skill course you may unlock spending skill points. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's the sphere grid, guys. I'm so pumped about this. I'm so pumped about this. It's so FF10. And we get that dopamine. Firework blade. Oh, these are, these are, uh, these are, um, yeah. And that's about awesome. all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than mm. meets the eye. It may not seem like it so, yet, but you'll see. Do you have to go into one of these shops to do that? Hmm. Hey there! Yeah, I think you do. That's interesting. So, okay, we go in here. For example, this is ranged blade. Awesome. Powerful punisher. Can we zoom out? Like, this is amazing. Oh, man, it looks so cool. The folios must be able to speak it. Oh, yeah. It looks so much like this figure. I love it. That's my Thanks favorite leveling by. system by far in Final Fantasy. Absolutely by far. There's nothing like it. Can I get on these gondolas? I finally got my hands on the new issue of Mysterious. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's got ink of a public tank. I love it, man. This is great. So Tifa right now has a neutral phase. Feels a little weird to be taking it easy, though. Yeah. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. <laughs> it 
took me long enough, but I finally went and got myself I love it. This is amazing, man. The soundtrack is also a standout, man. It's so good. Oh, we got some music. Sorry, I appreciate you. Oh my god, it's supposed to be like a tourist? That's the stuff. crazy because like if you think back to FF15 they put a lot of work into um, what was it less Stalem and a couple other places but look at this like I feel like it's not as big but it's just so nicely dense I really like it don't talk to Aerith you're down here cool thank you Shop that said, Yeah, look at this. This is so awesome. Look at the Moogle. <laughs> look at the big Moogle. Oh, it's so cute. They got little Moogles at the store. Like, I am mind boggled by this game. It's unbelievable. And the story is just delivering so far. Alright, we gotta we gotta progress the story. Where are we going? Weapon store was way over here, maybe. Let me see. Oh, also, I have a question uh, for anybody who's ahead of me in this. It said, like, beat three people in Queen's Blood. Does that have to take place in Calm, or is that just, like, an open quest? Is that just, like, an open quest I can do? Let's go in this alleyway. <clears throat> oh! how was your trip to Midgar? Did you hit up the Hunbeam like you Guys! Yeah, you should have been there, man. Stop. This blonde dude slayed the stage like I've never seen before. <laughs> then they beat his mug and sent him to Corneo's place. Hope he made it out of there in one piece. That is so funny. They're talking about Cloud? That is funny. <clears throat> Don't talk to Aerith if you can play. Yeah, right, right. I'll do that after this. So, how was your trip to Midgar? Did you hit the honeybee? Avalanche! Oh my god, then! Spread your beautiful petals. I love the scent. She's spraying? This is amazing, man. I'm... I love how time almost seems to stop here. I mean, she's not kidding. Time does stop here. What the heck, man? It's funny, too, because we're used to Midgar. And, like, you know, the towns were awesome in Midgar, but they're pretty, like, brutalized towns, yeah?
This blonde dude slayed on stage. That was so funny. I gotta find the uh, I gotta find the weapon shop. Easter eggs all over the place? Yeah, clearly. Dang. Oh, it's red. Let's talk to red. I take it our equipment is in order. What are you doing here anyway? Standing watch. One can never be too careful with Shinra. I knew I could count on you. Hell yeah. I knew I could count on you. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Oh, he didn't like that. Leave this to me. Maybe he did like it. It's unclear. <laughs> it said it. My relationship changed. What is this? Hey, quit slacking. We haven't got all day. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah? Like a grindstone, a forge, maybe? Amazing, guys. Hey, I wonder who that could be. Slayed on stage. That was so funny, man. Oh, no, they, they did a great job designing it. It's not like a simple town layout. Oh, yep, there's a card guy to play. <laughs> I should just go up. <laughs> what do you want? Don't scare they me like that. They usually have tables there, so. You, you don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that. Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me. Oh God, this is too much. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Give me that look. It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry too, you know. <laughs> People call me crybaby dad. <laughs> because the more tears I shed, the better I get in Queen's blood. <laughs> Please play around with me. This guy's unhinged. He's actually. Why, why are all the players out of their minds? Cactuar's going in, baby. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, now we're ready. There's so much detail. Yeah, I'm, I'm mind blown. Oh. I gotta put one of them away, so let's do. Hmm. Alright, now we're good. We got 15. Crybaby Ned? That's such a good name. Yeah. Hysterical. Cactuar. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Give me Cactuar. Ah, they didn't give it to me. It's okay. It is okay. We will win anyway. Oh. Alright, let's see what we got. Moo. Alright, I'm gonna put down this guy. Do that. Now we can take out the level two. I'm learning. We're gonna wait because he kind of goes the other way, but it does uh, increase the score. Like this would be a good card if it was in the middle. It's kind of a waste otherwise. It's all about the placement. Um, see, that's not so bad. We'll do that. Yeah. I think I can get him. I think I can get him unless he pulls out some crazy cards. He's crying about it. We're gonna make him cry some more. All right, sweeper. See, this is a solid place to put the sweeper. I feel we got a lot of options now, and we have a number two spot, which we might be able to cash in in a second. Doesn't give me any. Uh... Yeah, it's it's good, but it's it's good for score, but it's not the best spot for him. You know what I mean? We do have a three card, it's the magic pot. 
Mm. Let's see. Well, let me see what other kind of options we got. Now, let's do this. And then we'll put him. But he's kind of like. His stuff goes to the left. So. Alright. I actually might be in a good position right here. Oh no. I'm kind of in trouble, aren't I? Alright, let's do this. And then hopefully our next one we can put number two over there. Perfect sweeper usage? Thank you, yeah. I'm getting better. I think I screwed up a couple other ones there, but ooh, Cactuar. You know, that ain't that ain't so bad right there. And then I'll put him down at the end to score really big. That, that's gonna be my plan. That's gonna be my plan right now. Put him down for four at the end to just have a six score. And uh, he might beat me though. He might beat me. He's got some really, he has some really big numbers. Um, oh yeah, I think he's got me. Dang. We'll see. I have one more to put down. And so does he. Um, it's not gonna do too much for me, but I'll put down the Levicron to score an extra two. And I think, oh, it's almost tied up, but he won by one, I think. That's so close. Hey, what's up, Alejandro? Um, it's just a Queen's Blood song, it sounds like Alejandro. Yeah, he got me on that one. That was close, though. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get him. I don't- I feel like I have to do this quest in Calm. I'm not sure. That, I'm sure that's not the case. Alright. Yeah, let's try him again. Queen's Blood, baby. I could definitely see just getting really addicted to this. It's a fun game. He needs three to go down. Okay. I'm gonna hold on to Magic Pot this time. I wanna get a little sassy with it. Let's play. Let's see if I can play Magic Pot. He needs three, but... I love the song, man. They went hard. I wonder who composed this. It could be, it could be Hamazu. Uh, yeah, not optimal sweeper usage. This though. Oh, I can't put him down yet. I'm actually not sure why I can't put him down. Oh, he needs to. Never mind. Wait, I'm actually kind of screwed myself here. Well, let's see what happens. <clears throat> about booster packs? Oh, you're right. Maybe I can just do that. That's not a bad idea. Because it's pretty much the only time you're going to want to do that, right? Oh, I couldn't put Sweeper. I wanted to. But I couldn't put him there. <laughs> He's beating me, though. He's, He's good. Put down the magic pot yet. Let's do that. He's beating me though. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna do this and then try magic pot because I have no idea what magic pot is. I wanna see what kind of effect he has with this like negative attack that he got. Is it, is it, wait, why can't I play it? I actually don't know why I can't play him. Plus three. Oh, he needs three. No, I got confused. Yeah, he needs three. Why did it say plus three on the board right there though, I wonder. Hmm. It gave me a huge boost. I don't know why. But we'll take it. And now I can put down the magic pot. What is it gonna do? Hell yeah, let's do it. I think it gave me like bonus? Okay, let's see what happened. If I if I got the bonuses, I'll win. Four, eight, nine. I think I won. Yeah. Amazing. 
We got him, guys. <clears throat> Crystalline crab? We'll take it. Oh, God! I lost it. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Thank you. Speaking of, Cactuar, you okay. look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. <laughs> Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. <laughs> Cloud just smacks the chair. So, okay, the better cards give bonuses. I was gonna say, there's gotta be some, like, wild card um, mechanic in the game, and that, that seems to be it. Alright, I would love to, like, go to the weapon shop. Where the heck is it? Oh. I think it shows it on the map. This is the... Technology for us come this is the item shop. Oh, it says it's up there. Oh, wait, that's the bookshop. So where's the item shop? It's in the back. I can't wait to do the folio. That's that's gonna be a good time. It might be up on the other level or something. Mm -hmm. What's up, Alejandro? It's so good. Yeah, I'm okay. mind boggled. There we go. Here's the here's the. Hello and welcome to my humble shop. Ah, oh, look at her hair. Yeah, cool hair. How many we got? Own five. Proud with it. Owned one. Steel material. It will buy one. I will buy one. So you actually get the material from the flashback? Booster pack! What do we got? Oh yeah. Riot Trooper. Did you say Quetzalcoatl? Are you serious? Wait, that's hype. That's really hype. I'm getting Quetzalcoatl, man. We're gonna go broke. We're gonna go broke playing. Hope to see you again I just like increase so her shops uh, <laughs> I just gave her a lot of money all right I don't know where the weapon shop is it doesn't show it on the map as far as I could see um, so yeah <clears throat> oh wait is this it there you go welcome damn that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. I'm all in. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If that you baby like, sing. I could show you. Weapon skill. Oh, yep. It's going to be like a remake then? Upgrade weapons. Ooh, wait, that looks so cool. What? That's so fun. Skill sets. Oh, cool. Automatically auto kit. That's so fun. You can do auto if you want. Sweet. Yeah, love it. See what I tell you. That girl is singing, and, and do she's you have got to the do voice it in the shop angel. too. Just make sure you take proper care of her. All right. Yep. Everybody oh, buys steel doesn't use it. Here, check out what we got to offer. It's an RPG staple. It's an RPG rule. It's an RPG law. New weapons. Treasure chest and drone. So he has. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I don't have. I don't have any money because I just spent it all on cards. So. <laughs> you take care of that Let's just weapon go play now. really well. Clock tower, okay. Clock tower, let's do it. Alright, we're gonna progress story, I think, guys. Get ready. Cloud! Over here! Oh, I'm excited. This is cool because you see this in the original game, but you don't go up it. And now it's like, let's have a second go up this thing. Let's get started then, so shall cool. we? <sighs> She just hauls it up the stairs. Like, dang, I'm trying to enjoy myself. <laughs> this is so cool, man. They did the architecture on the inside. It's amazing. 
Like, how many people do you think worked on Tom, just the town? Was it one person? Was it 20? Like, who knows? Whoa, that's fun. She's just hauling... Okay. <laughs> I was like, I are we gonna make ours this way? Are we gonna Should talk? Be, yeah. Look, it's so cool. Oh man. Oh yeah, there's Midgar. So wait, you can see Shinra Tower. It's so interesting. Miss Bear cutscene? No. Where was that? Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. Yeah. It is far away. Wow. So did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm. Yeah. Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. <laughs> We're roommates. <laughs> she say something? Not about you two, no. Still, she can't, she can't I can tell. Uh -huh. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Wow. Don't take her for granted. True. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. No subtitles? Yeah, trying to enjoy the cinematics. <clears throat> Not get distracted. Ooh, wow. Here we go. Barrett. Oh. Is that the Gelnica? I saw the red one, unless there was a new one. Dude, they're assaulting the tech. Unbelievable. 80, 80. You know the drill. The this is bad. Dude, we're all over the place. We're separated. Bad. Oh man, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I love that this is happening because this is definitely what would happen. They just go all out assault after the insane chase on the highway. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. Oh boy, here we go. I love it, man. Keeping the story moving. You know, I decided to play cards, but you don't have to by any means. Whoa! Okay, that's hype. That's fun. Choppers, get to the chopper. That's a Gelmica. Classic Genera. Invading the town. I like the music. Uh, there you are. Okay. There, there isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. But don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. Hell yeah. No violence, please. This town suffered enough. I love that. The police just leave, man. Come on. We just fought for like hours at the end of the other games. Follow me. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, he knows his town. He'd be able to get him there safe, probably. Ooh, really good music. Not here. Well, we can go we'll take the back town. Hey, you. Seen anyone acting suspicious? No, I haven't. The moment any of you see someone suspicious, inform the nearest trooper. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? That was you, it's okay. wasn't it? Okay, I'm on your side. Got a contact in HQ. You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Interesting. Where's the Stop. Avalanche guy? I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Big sword, yeah. Go up and over? Oh, I see. Let's go. Dang, Aerith is strong like this? May I ask what's going on? That. We're searching for some mutants. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Claude doesn't even no, check it, Aerith. Okay. I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. What was it? Oh, I love it. Get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a mutant care about them. This is awesome. Annoying someone else. Stop wasting our time. <laughs> he did a great job distracting him, man. I'll give him that. Look at this, the windows up there and everything. This is amazing, man. So 
a little bit. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta we jump. Gotta find them. Down there, okay. Well, now what? Can I jump down? Oh, there's a lot. That went well. The end's not much further. So we stay on your toes. This shows how big the town is, man. Like, what the heck? It's huge. I hope I can come back later and use the uh, gondola. That'd be cool. Made it. Where are they? Down below. Waiting for you. Down below. Secret secret entrance? The this guy's a boss, the man. We'll take you outside of town. This guy's a boss. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Let's go. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Chocobo Bill. Also. Take this. Is it the PHS? What is that? It's a transmuter. It converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Hell yeah. You'll get more use out of it than me. Okay. That's cool. We can forge items. Why are you doing this? Could've just turned us in. Yeah, I could've. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe this'll turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. <laughs> yeah, he's struggling from a, he said a war injury that he sustained, so I don't think he likes Shinra. Convert raw materials into consumables. Amazing. That's gonna be fun. Let's go around with that. Open world item crafter, yeah. Craftsmanship one. Okay, so we need like level up. Yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Viewer material, that's so fun. Yeah. I like that. That's a fun one. I mean, honestly, to me, that's gonna be more fun than just like hoarding items at shops. It's very like it's not a very active approach. Uh, uh, you know, just buying stuff. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? You did it. Yeah. Sorry, we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? <laughs> On a date, kind of. What? Uh, oof. Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. Dang, Aerith just uh, sinking his. This is really Got nice. That? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. Aerith really. Uh... <laughs> Damn. You fought with Tifa this morning? Alright, let's just, you know. Let's just twist the knife a little bit. You know? <laughs> Dang. You wanna know Broden's history now? Yeah. He's, he seems like a cool guy. I like that. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Get in there, Barry. Get in there, man. He sounds like a chaperone. That's the last date. Bring up the rear. I love the music. So cool there's like an underground network. This is all one map, by the way. They designed this town with that in mind. So cool. No loading. All right, here we go. Is this open world time, guys? 
I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. There we go. Ooh. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Look at the graphics. Unbelievable. Oh Just my goodness. look at it all. It's so green. I can't believe how good it looks actually. So good. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. Look at the petals and stuff. It's awesome. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. So nice. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, oh, great scene. how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. <laughs> left, your left, your left, right. We won't be coming back anytime soon. Beautiful presentation. Guess not. I wonder how long the troops will be there. Can we go back to calm? Let's go. That is such an iconic <laughs> shot, man. <laughs> I love it. And there it was. The first step on our new journey. You coming? That was so yeah. uh, Bilbo Baggins of course we are. Right. This is why I'm on graphic Follow mode, me. man. Look at this amazing attention to detail. All right, let's get this show on the road, people. Let's do it. So beautiful and the music. Adjust your party bet. Oh, you can change. Story markers, discovery markers, ah, oh, amazing. It's humongous, man. It's crazy. Wow. I, I just, I, I can explore anything. Let's go check it out. I don't know if we can get over there yet. It seems like it's kind of far away. Yeah, it's going to be like on the other side of comp. Dude, it's so awesome. Oh my goodness. I'm actually mind blown. Look at this world. An enemy. Orc. It's an orc. What the? <laughs> Keep it together. Red thirteen. Oh my goodness! Vengeance mode. Leave it to me. Not enough. Got ahead of myself. Only the strong survive. Dude, he's a beast. <laughs> I'm amazed. That was so cool. They did a really good job with the vegetation. Like it, the vegetation is thick everywhere. It's awesome. Looks so alive. Wow. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Some ruins over here. Thresher Water Wheel. Area of interest. Oh, you'll find supplies and stuff. Cool. That's kind of nice. It says area of interest, which means there will be um, there will be stuff to pick up here. that confirm. That's nice. Wow, dude! I keep getting surprised how high he can climb. It's really amazing. It's like an old aqueduct. Look at this. I'm so impressed, man. You can really just, you know, go anywhere. All right, here's the real test. Will Cloud, like, die if I jump down here? Okay, he won't jump down that far, but he will jump down, like, from here to there. Yeah, that's awesome. I like it. I like the system. Back to working. All right, proud. A mist potion. 
Locate the treasure. Oh, that's fun. So it says there's treasure to get in this area. You can check it out. I quite like that. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool. And you can pick up all of them there. And then those are for item crafting. That's so fun. Look at that. It's a cool little planetary thing. Mog the Moogle, how are you doing? This game's incredible. I am... I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I think it's like the best Final Fantasy game so far. Absolutely loving it. It's so magical and just got that eye-opening feeling, just like the original game did, you know? That's what I'm feeling right now. And look how far you can jump down. Like, what? Crazy. Aerith jumps down like she's a super soldier. This is nice, man. Look at this. I think there's a bench down there. I kind of want to go. There was like these windmills over here. Let me see. There's a little shack over there. We check that out. Whoa! Come on now, swimming like so awesome. How much have you played, Mog? Are you at this point? I love how there's stuff to pick up too. It's so fun. They're doing a really good job on the world. I think there's orcs here. Orcs! I think it's so funny how that works, man. I want to learn more about it. Alright, we need more ATP to do the firework. Long range magic. I think it's the same as uh, I'll it's the same as the other game, yeah. Get ready. Where? Can you take over? Let's see this. See ya. Alright, check this out. Oh, I thought we had enough for fireworks. Keep it together. Get him ready. Get him ready. Oh, level up. Dude, we're already at level 16? Oh my goodness gracious, what in the world? I love how the other party's off to the side. That's so fun. Okay, um, card decks. I'm gonna edit my deck code just before I forget. If I play again, I'm gonna get my butt kicked. Lower the points of enfeeble other cards? That's crazy. Which one is that? Only when they are destroyed. That's cool. There's a lot of finding novel ways to win. Yeah. What is that? I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add obviously Quetzalcoatl from Final Fantasy VIII. I'm gonna add Zoo. And man, we got a lot of good stuff now. Crystalline Crab seems pretty good. That guy. And then how do I take stuff out? Yeah, let's like take that guy out. Take this thing kind of stinks. This thing kind of stinks. This thing kind of stinks, and we'll take out. I guess we need. Yeah, I gotta be careful though, because we need low-level cards to place on the board. Yeah. Okay. Cactuar. He's already in there. Until you fight, of course, and the epic soundtrack comes in. How hooked you are on the game. Just by listening to the beautiful soundtrack. Taking my work in the office very calm. <laughs> I, I am very hooked on the game. It's unbelievable. All well, that red is a guard counter tanky character with Tifa's speed, basically. Yeah, I got to uh, figure out how to do his vengeance mode. I couldn't charge it up enough. But I'm excited to uh, mess around with him. Riot Trooper. Oh, man, I got a lot of... Good stuff. Flan. Mandragora. He's okay. Yeah, I gotta I gotta take a bunch of stuff out now. Take that guy out, take that guy out, and we'll take out this guy, because I don't really understand him. 
All right, perfect. Man, Quetzalcoatl is broken. Can't wait to use that. All right, I wanted to go to um, edit my party. Yeah. How do we move people in and out of the party? Like, am I able to get Tifa in? I love fighting Tifa. It's so much fun. That's so cool. Look how it like cycles through them. I have to say, I can't believe how much better they made Aerith's hair look than the first game. It's actually remarkable what they did. Two weeks to play this? That's going to be so fun. That's going to be so fun. How do I switch my, uh, how do I switch my party around? Am I insane? If not on party, where is it? He's the leader. How do I switch? Uh, how do I switch these guys in? Does anybody know? Command guide. That's just her fighting abilities. Ever played this game? I'm not sure what you're watching. Hey, what's up, Nimleth? How you doing? Nah, that's a good place to start. I mean, the story is really good. It'll it'll give you a good taste of what's going on. You know. I don't know how to switch my party. I must be losing my mind. I guess I'll keep playing. For now. I don't. I don't know. Let me go check this shed. Thorin's card shop. Thorin Oakenshield. <laughs> I was just talking about Bilbo Baggin. It's locked. Well, how are we supposed to buy cards at the card shop if it's locked, man? Pearl ginger. This place is so beautiful, man. Like what? Look at the ocean. Amazing. I want to go to these windmills. That's going to be my next stop. We need to get into FF. This game looks really good. Yeah, it's insane. It looks like... I can't believe how amazing this world is. Look, there's deer uh, running around. Should we be worried about those things? We're fine. How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier, local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack, as I gather yours. That shot on the hill I know is amazing. It's not the party, go back a step and I'll let you know. Oh, it's not? Okay. Press X, then R, R1, L1 to cycle party. Oh! Okay. The Cloud, Aerith, Tifa. Red, Barret, Aerith, Tifa. Cool! So you can like, you can customize, uh, you can customize people like, different builds in the party? That's kind of fun. Now what is all this? There's like big silos over here, guys. Combat settings? What's up, our seal? And it's also under combat on the menu. Oh, combat setting. Ah, I see. Yeah. Edit party. Yeah, that's all I was trying to do. I was trying to get to a way to switch. That's really fun. Awesome. Yeah, I'll probably go with these guys for now. I want to learn learn red a little bit later. Wow, this is gorgeous. So cool, man. Blessing of the planet. I love how there's houses and stuff out here too. Like it wouldn't just most likely be completely barren. Look at the cows! Oh my goodness. Cows, guys. It's amazing. What's all this? Yeah, thanks for the tip. Timber, miss seed. Alright, so now that I got a bunch of stuff, can we do items? Item transmitter. So, potion. I can make one. Boom! I created a potion. Let's go to Mist Potion. I don't have enough craftsmanship. So, antidote I can't make. Smelling salt. Smelling salts, guys. I love how it shows the item. That is so fun. Alright, I don't have enough stuff yet. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for helping me with that. I 
I like how there's not a mini map too. I like how uh, I think you can toggle it, but I like that it just kind of shows you general direction. You don't have to like be distracted. It takes away from the beauty of the world. If it's just like icons all over all across the screen, really confusing. I'm gonna look at my map though. Okay, so. So if we look that way. Awesome. Yeah, we've not been over here. Let's check it out. What's up, Tendi? How you doing? So beautiful. Let's go check this out. The thing I'm excited for is apparently after you get to a certain point. You can go back in the chapter and you can actually like play as Tifa or whoever like running around. That sounds so fun. Man. Sounds like a good time. So on consecutive playthroughs you can really kind of uh, customize your experience, you know. Replay value on this game is gonna be crazy. That's all I have to say. There we go, we can climb here. The climbing is smooth, man. I like how fast it is. It's really refreshing. Ooh, what the heck was that? Like the blessing of the planet guiding me or something? <laughs> so much cool stuff to get. Hey, the item crafting is a really fun idea. Like I said, I like that, um, I like that as opposed to just always, like, going to shops. Because once you have enough gill, you can just buy anything. There's no real, like, there's no real kind of interactivity at that point, in my opinion. This is locked up. Oh, hi. Who's this? Magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original. A Republic original. So this is the Juno. If only Republic. there was some way to get it moving again. This is probably a side quest. Magnificent, isn't it? A Republic original. Well, let's take a look at her. Probably like something you can do later. I think for now, I'll probably head this way. There was like a bench on the way we could check out. Here for together fights from each character has their own folios. That's right. So wait, the folios you can't access in here, can you? The folios are only in... Combat setting. Yeah, they're only in um, that shop, right? Alright, let's head down this way. Look at this, there's like a garden and stuff. Is that a bunny rabbit? Look! Oh, it's a little bunny rabbit. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Make a wish list for the transmitter? Are you serious? You can make a wish list for the transmitter? That's amazing, I didn't know that. Cool idea. I want to see. There was like a bench I could sit on, I think, around here. I love that you can just jump in the water, you don't have to take the bridge. It's so fun. Oh my gosh, is that Chocobo Bill? Yeah. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh! Fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to call. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. Yeah. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. All right, Bill. Except today, that is. Afraid the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh... Know some place we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? You talking about Aerith, Nimoth? Yeah? Oh. <laughs> She's awesome. 
I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. You'll just head straight that <laughs> way toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Dang, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Hunker down. So wait a second. If I had... Okay, now I'm really curious. If I had done that cutscene and I had Barrett in my party, would that cutscene have been different? Because I just so happen to have Tifa and Aerith. Is this game going that deep? If so, this is ridiculous. I'm watching War Within trailer right now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, has anyone done that with like Barrett in the party? Is that a different conversation? If so, they went all out for this game. Orcs! Right, I gotta use Tifa. Let's go, Tifa! All set. Yes. Absolute legend. Look at the cinematic! It's so cool, man. It's so cool. I forgot how sick he fights. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Vending machines for folios? Okay. Yes! It's so cool. Oh, she's got new moves, too. Yeah, it's just one more it's, it's unbelievable. Boom! <laughs> the music is so great, man. Like, come on. The entity slumbering when he took summoning material. Oh, okay. Alright. She did like a split kick to the face. That's crazy. Let's switch to Cloud. Alright, Cloud, what you got for us today? Okay. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, I missed this game's combat. It really is the absolute best. There's nothing like it. Ooh, a bench. What's this, guys? Chocobo shops. Chocobo stops. Built in the days of the Republic have fallen into disrepair. If you use a cushion, it'll fully replenish all of your stuff. <laughs> That's funny. Use a cushion? Yeah. Oh, I just ha I only have one. Oops. That is so fun. Oh, Mog Moogle, are you leaving? Thanks so much for being here. If you're leaving, Mog, appreciate you. Man, I'm loving this. It's so crazy. Let me see the map. Like, it's huge, guys. What? Look how big. That's Midgar over there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's huge. Wow. Oh, you can place pins down. Okay. Got it. That's where it came from, kind of. Came with your mods? Wait a second. It's knocked down. That's so sad. Um, it's gonna release for PC probably in like a half a year or a year, I think, is what they said. Do you guys remember? Anybody know? Yeah, it's, oh man, it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun on PC too, I'm sure. And full of numinous. <laughs> Let's fight! We need that stuff for item crafting, okay. Look at the flowers even! Wow. Who are these guys? First strike. Let's go, Aerith. Alright, let's get Aerith again. 
Arcane ward that you can teleport to? I think I think they're saying. Try using it. Get him. Oh, okay. No, arcane ward is going to. Let me hear me. Yeah. <laughs> I see. You can teleport Go on, now. I'm trying to learn her stuff again. And so you can do it. Let me handle this. It's nothing. <laughs> Let's do that. Yeah, Aerith is a mage. She's pretty much like a white mage. Um, which is a Final Fantasy class. Look at Cloud, man. Come on. <laughs> How cool is that? Synergy ability? That oh, we can't use. Now's our chance. I can help too. It's your turn. I got it. For you. Keep it up. I'm gonna do focus strike, and I think it's gonna. Oh, he's already staggered. Never mind. Leave it to me. Mm. That was awesome. Wow. So intense. Every battle, man. Here's some more ruins, guys. Whoa, look at that. It's gorgeous. Look at the mountain. It's a mine, clearly. That's how it looks in Italy. The marble quarry. Ooh. Oh man, this is cool. That's a huge sword, yes indeed. Yes indeed. One of the most famous ones. I would say next to uh for Zerg's Dragon Slayer, this is it. As far as big swords go, the most famous. Look at that, it becomes a forest. It's so cool. Yeah, gorgeous. Play a marsh over there. So I'm trying to see where the where is the Chocobo Farm? If I'm going by original game layout, Chocobo Farm should actually be over here somewhere. I'm gonna head this way. Secret attacks work after three ATB have been expended by each character. Oh, okay, in battle. I see. Yeah, I gotta find the ranch. I think I missed it. Hold on. It must be up here somewhere. Looking at my map. Yeah, it's gotta be over here. Can you play as any of the characters? Yeah, you can play as all the characters in battle. Um, and then after you complete each chapter, you can play as anybody. You can run around the main map, which is super fun. And I think later in the story, it said there's gonna be like puzzles that you have to use the other characters for as well. Because each person does their own stuff, like interacting with the world. This is so beautiful. Yeah. Orcs! Oh, oh, yeah. Take the lead. I'm coming! Alright, let's, let's control Aerith. Good, they're hurt! <laughs> Soul drain. You've got this. All set. Go on. Watch yourself. Take it over. Don't overdo it. That is so strong, man. Over here. Can you take over? Let me handle this. Here he comes. Again. I think it's gotta be like up this way, the ranch. Let me see. Yeah, as you can see in the battle, I was just switching back like super quick, and that's kind of been the charm of the uh, of the game is you can switch people um, very, very rapidly. It makes for a lot of fun. This could be it here, guys. This could be a trick bar range. Here we go. Get this oh, these are yeah. enemies? Yeah. 
Yeah, you can still see over there, guys. Look. Up at calm, all the choppers are still circling and everything. Wow. We've got to be getting close to the rash, right? I think I see it. Looks difficult. It's not too difficult. It's like, it just takes some muscle memory, but there's also difficulty, um, there's also difficulty options. You can put on, like, you can play easy mode, you can play, um, Normal mode, you play dynamic mode. 40 minutes to go by the game? Heck yeah. Oh, here's the ranch! Yes! We found it, guys, we found it! Yes! Cool! We found it! Chocobo ranch! Let me in! Let me in, dang it! One, two, three. Is this a racetrack? Wait a second. Oh, it's gonna be so hype if this is a racetrack. It looks like it. Why can't I get in? What's going on here? Let me in! Whoa, that looks cool, like the hay. I think it's actually a racetrack, man. I'm excited. Hopefully we can try it out. I don't know why I'm locked out, though. Hmm. Yeah, not sure. Yeah, there is a faint feeling. Yeah, maybe I have to maybe I have to go where it says to go first. And then it'll uh and then it'll have me come back? I'm not sure. Let's go try. Yeah, the music. Just the sheer amount of music they have in the game has been really impressive. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're gonna have to go this way and then come back. I love how you can just haul down huge cliffs and everything. Hear the windmills going. Awesome. I also like how they call them themes, like Final Fantasy X. Really nice detail. That aerial combat, man. Look at this. Yeah, I was just going by, you know, original, original FF7 mode. Like, we'd go to the Chocobo Ranch first, so that's where my mind went. Bench time? So wait, I have one cushion. Is it that, like, do I have a permanent cushion? Or am I using one every time, and then it's like, it's expended, it's gone. Mm. Yeah, isn't it cool, Nimbleth? Like... This game has style, like no other. Throw the Mars first? Okay. Is that where it has it? I'm so used to the other game, it's all. <laughs> Usually just stop by. Dang, it works. I like how it's slowly becoming a Mars. That's really cool. Deal with that. I'm Cooking, coming. Man. Come. Here it comes. This one's for you. All right, what kind of magic you got? Arrow. Diva? Get in there, Diva. Whoa! 
<laughs> what? That's so cool, look. Yes. Oh, Christian is used up. Loud Axe destroys the Christian. He does not play around. Let's do this. Here comes the Christian. Braver. Whack a mole, extreme edition. Don't overdo it. So it's my turn? Can you take over? I got it. Uh, Nimleth, you can play Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is on PC right now. How you doing? What's happening? People's here. I don't think so, yeah. How you feeling? Awesome. Do you have to stream or anything? Okay. The pizza was so good. What's that? Where do I like to go? <laughs> yeah, look. Get in there. Can you what? Uh, not yet. There's one from the original game right now. Uh, yeah, after reading the book, after train, it's like it makes so much sense. It's like, yeah. yeah, it's so close. Fucking orcs. The orcs are coming. <laughs> Yeah, that was so good. I ate it so fast. Great. Not yet, I was saving it. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'll be here, let me know if you need anything. Alright. I'm gonna get on it. <clears throat> Say hi to Aliyah, everybody. Yeah, I'm gonna be completely, like, nimble. If you, if you want my, like, full... Trust me, recommendation. Play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Listen to the music. It got so creepy. Look at this. It's awesome. Um, yeah, play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, get get Integrade, Nimleth. Integrade is like just the optimized version. It's like a better version, and it comes with the DLC that Remake had. So all you have to do is play Integrade, and then you can play this game right now. That's all you gotta play. Yeah. And in my opinion, that is the best order to play them in. If you finish Rebirth, and you're like, this is the best thing I ever played, oh my god, I need more, I'm gonna lose my mind, you could go back and play a game, but it's for PlayStation 1, it's incredibly dated. One of the best games ever made, but it's incredibly dated. So I would say play it if you're obsessed after Rebirth. This music's great. We got a weapon? Sleek Saber? Dare I equip it? See, this is where my cinematic um, love gets the better of me. I don't want to equip the Sleek Saber because I like the Buster Sword the best. <laughs> it looks the coolest. Look at this. No sign of Shinra. It's a marsh. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then. Head on through the mines and okay. keep going till we hit Juna. Sure. Oh, Why not? Great. You trust these rotting hulks? Huh. I mean, we could. Good luck with Let's that. not. Then maybe we swim it. <sighs> this swamp <laughs> is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. Oh, no. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. Midgar Zalem. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. Yeah. Love it. A bird! Aww. <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Oh, how can you say no? How can you say no? They're being so nice about it, too. Fine. <laughs> Yes, bird time. It's bird time, kids. I love this game. It's so well done. Also, I want you guys to I want you guys to notice something. Look at how advanced the lighting system is. Red 13's tail is interacting with Cloud's Buster Sword. Look. Look at the bottom of Cloud's Buster Sword. You see the red light? 
You see that? <laughs> Look how advanced the lighting is. Look. That's beautiful. That's beautiful to see. All right, guys. Let's go back to the ranch and get ourselves a bird. And maybe we'll explore this area. But I'm, I'm, I want to see how chocobos work. And if... Um, I like how the weather changes. And if um, it affects how you run around and everything. What's going on, Scott? Good to see you, man. Yeah, I've been waiting for this game for four years plus. <laughs> and uh, it's just the coolest thing ever right now. I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. How you doing, Scott? It's on Great you. to see you, man. I'm coming. That's it. <laughs> yeah. One more shot. Get him. Lend me your strength. You can do it. Let's go. Gotcha. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get him, let's get him. The team up of the century. Cloud and Tifa. Come on, come on. Tell me it's not cinematic! Whoa, so cool! <laughs> Big fast! Ha, ha. Boom! Watch yourself! I got this! One step at a time! That was so cool, man. Riding an ostrich. Yeah, you can actually ride an ostrich in real life. I saw that. Oh, there you go. Chocobo Ranch. There's a sign. Isn't it incredibly cinematic? Like, it's ridiculous, yeah. This, you guys are probably wondering, like, oh, why was it his favorite game? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Pretty obvious, right? Right up this way, I believe. Yeah, that's why I love these games. Like, and what do you see the cutscenes fighting? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Even crazier. I love that you can essentially like go into your menus and it's just a movie all of a sudden. <laughs> it makes complete sense, yeah. <laughs> no surprise there. Okay, I think we're going to Chocobo Ranch now, guys. Yes. Here we go. Yes, there's Bill. Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Ah. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B. Huh. But now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. Yep. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, mm -hmm. ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Greens. Uh... <laughs> Would you believe that their fluffy feathers <laughs> give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Through the sure graphics can. and clouds hair. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. Actually incredible. He'll help you out. Billy. <laughs> Bill and Billy. Love it. Yeah. It's the song from the original game. I love it, man. Brings back memories. The same exact layout as the original game. I love it. I love it. You waiting for your copy? Ah. It's gonna be so good. Just wait, just wait. It'll be worth it. Howdy! Hey. Billy! He looks exactly like he did. Swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops! Pops. <laughs> Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. 
These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. Aww. So cute. But Good job, guys. I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Huh? The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. What the heck are you talking or about? Or any, really. Really? Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, Let's do it. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. <laughs> Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Yeah. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The Pico. hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. You go. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. That's funny. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop Got by that shop. Cut. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, mm -hmm. riding and rearing lessons are on me. Gotta love it, man. Ooh, there's stuff to pick up too. Get me it. Oh, okay, it's outside. Or is it a weapon? What do you got in here, Billy? What are you keeping from me? Timeless rod. Let's see what Aerith can do with the timeless rod. Timeless rod. Ooh, that one's cool. I like that. Charming staff carved into millennial old tree. That's amazing. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's stronger. Attack and magic attack. The sleek saber. It's cool and it's got three materia slots, but still, I mean, come on now, come on. It's a lot stronger too. We'll equip it for now. But I want to upgrade the Buster Sword and go back. It's just too good. It's too good. Um, it might be like the other game though, where you get new abilities. I'm actually not sure. Oh yeah, Firebolt Blade. So we do want to use this for a little bit until we get the new ability, and then we can switch back. I like that. Barret, I don't think has anything new yet. Yeah. I haven't used Barret yet. We'll get him in there. I'm wrecking the place. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand, hmm. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. Uh. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, yeah. not very well. Chocobo Sam. Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, oh. that's none of these good folks' business. Yeah. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Hmm. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Huh. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. Yeah. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. All right. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure. I don't have any if gil anything to spend. catches your eye. <laughs> also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Golden plumes? What? Trade? Oh, that's so funny. You can get equipment for the chocobos. What the heck? 
Let me see if I can craft I hope Pico doesn't get Smelling salts! Yes! <laughs> I got level 2 craftsmanship now. That's what I'm talking about. Mist potion. What does it even do? Ooh, it restores 350 to all allies. That's amazing. Make another one. What the heck? Love it. Alright, guys. Be all too much trouble. New discovery. There's a ladder here. Let's go up. Yes, I can. Love it. This game's amazing, man. I can't believe the traversal. It's so good. All right, Pico. Where'd you run off to? You mean Pico? Let's try looking for some tracks. Ooh, some treasures back here, guys. Iron ore. But you got iron ore in the backyard. What the heck? Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's a folio vending machine. Tifa. Whoa. Synchro clone? It's okay, SP5, I have 10. Dude. That is so cool. Increased damage dealt by unique, those are five. Wow. I can get that too, 5%. I see impulse. Oh my goodness, this is with Barrett? What the heck? Leaping strikes? Done. That is so cool. I really like the folios, I think it's fun. So, okay, I have a question. Each person has their own SP? Yeah. Oh, everybody has their own colors, too. Look at that. Divine Punishment with Aerith and Tifa? Done. Done. That's so fun. Jet stream? He draws him to you. Bodyguard? Ask your partner to defend you. Pretty good. Barret? Iron Defense. Oh, heck yeah, you know we're gonna do Barrett and Red 13 together. That's awesome. Iron Defense, yeah. Love it. Cloud got five left here. Range of Target Partner, done. Love it, it's amazing. I kind of like that set vending machine because it makes you, you know, want to go ahead and do it. And you can buy stuff if you need it. A cushion. Down 100%. Oh, I have four cushions. Okay. I'm good. Marjoram. Alright, let's go get some, uh, let's go get our chocobo. Oh, chocobo tracks. Look at that, guys. That's so cool. Just like the original game, you follow the chocobo tracks. Who would have thought, guys? Who would have thought? I think I see him. Bingo. Pico? Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Yeah, he's got the reins on. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Yeah, yeah, tell him. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> Cloud's too cold, man. <laughs> Your prey. Um, use L1 to aim. Oh, fun. If you're spotted, press O to roll out of sight. Fun. Ooh, a little sneaky sneak, okay. Without 
being spotted now. Get in the grass, man. Okay. Go, 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 go. Stay down, stay down, stay down. <laughs> stay down, Clap. The music. <laughs> Pico. Oh, I see. I think get it. I have to pick up the rock. That's my bad. Yeah. All right, now we're talking. Ready? Check this out. Yeah, we distracted him. Yes! Yes! I think we got him, guys. Good bird. Good bird. Golden plumes. We can catch those and get some prizes, guys. Yeah. Awesome. That was fun. I really like that. Yeah. Here's your favorite treat, dude. Isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> oh. Aww. Ah. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. My brethren. What does he want now? Do you Dick. Think maybe he's still hungry? Joke about hot and cold. Sorry, that's all the food we had. He's gonna say dig. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <gasps> I'm going back, back now. To the ranch it is then. Come on. I was hoping I could uh I was hoping I could jump on him myself. The music. The tracks are still there. Hip hop the chocobo, yep, from the first game. <laughs> you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Alright. Build Ranch. What you got to say, Billy? We did it! Ah, oh, there's our guy. Nothing beats Aww. a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure, though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea, if we ask him nice. Ain't that right. I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? I want to cash in my golden plumes, man. Let me cash in. What, Chadley? Hey there. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Why do you run up like that? You do remember me, don't funny. you? Yeah. <laughs> you can say no. <laughs> That's so sad. That's too mean even for me. I can't do it. Yeah, I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. <laughs> Detecting so... internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. That's so Speaking funny. of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. He's got his own theme. You need more battle intel. Clearly by Hamazu. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, <laughs> though, I'd like you to activate some Remnant Wave so Towers funny. first. 
They were originally constructed by no. the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Uh, that ship. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more like towers Intel you towers. activate around the world, like the it. more my processing power will grow. As will the area I can survey. I might power. even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. That's pretty good, Chadley. Uh, yeah, yeah. If we find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. That was I thought you might say funny. something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? You see That's how everybody walked away? <laughs> Everybody's like. And this will activate it. I'm good. The Chad module. As the tower's close by, allow me to accompany you. <laughs> the Chad module. I remember that, yeah. I beat it and actually platinum the first game. And I remember hearing that and I was like, oh my god. gonna reveal stuff, I think? Points of interest? Now? That's what I'm guessing. Total Chad now. The Giga, exactly, Akaria. <laughs> Tower activation confirmed. So Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. I love it. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. What? I call it World Intel. World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. <laughs> but before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Whoa! Developing materia, combat simulator, combat simulator. With a special pair of goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, yeah, regardless yeah, yeah. of your real world location. That's the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. Mine. And fret not, okay. it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. Love it. I will also endeavor to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In fact, after poring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one. The tower in Colossus known as Titan. Titan. Engage him at your leisure. We can get Titan. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? Nah. Let's fight Titan. In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Oh, I see. Autocast. Fire and ice. So you can actually fuse materia. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. Morph material allows you to turn enemies into items. That's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, man. What the heck? So I have to. Okay. I have one. I have ten now. Auto unique ability. Oh, I see. Unbridled strength. Interesting. It's, it's okay. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Does he have like an R2 unit? What the heck is that? Combat simulator. Speak with Chadley to access it. Titan. Cloud. 
I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. What do you got in the combat simulator? What kind of options do you have, man? Chat the combat simulator. What do we got? Oh, okay, it's just Titan. I'm just seeing what the rewards are. Eh, we'll come back later when we're a little stronger and we'll just like steamroll this. That's if there's anything else I can do for you, please let me know. I'm out. I'm always happy to help. I'm out. So he's got a bunch of stuff to look at. Battle points. Moogle Intel. Moogle Intel. So now what? Can I go back to Chocobo Bill? I want that ride. Oh! Keep us chilling. Can we talk to her or no? Interesting. We can't talk to him. Can we talk to Bear? Can't talk to Bear either. Huh. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a tune Choco and whistle. your chocobo will come a-running. Love it. Press R1. Once you've wrangled that region's bird. Oh, I see. So, That's fun. who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Take some laps? Heck yeah. This will be fun. I'm gonna go cash in my stuff though, sorry. We're a one-stop shop for all your chocobo needs. Yeah, golden plumes. Okay, what should I get? Shinra avian helmet is so funny, man. I'm gonna get the chocobo, uh, I'm gonna get him a breastplate. Yeah. If you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. The Choco Boutique. Wait, that's Chadley. I don't want to find Wait. Where did Billy go? Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, let's take a lap. Where are you going, Sonny? Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. Uh, yep. What races? I called it earlier. The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Yeah. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. Uh -huh. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. Yeah. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Let's go, Pico. Let's go. Just bumped into him. All right. Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? R2, L3, dash, pressing the sprint, jump. Hustle the chocobo? Yes. Let's go. Alright! <laughs> this is amazing! The music! <laughs> we gotta get used to racing, man. It's gonna get crazy out there. Gold saucer. Hey, we're doing good. Not bad, not bad. I think we need to do a little bit faster. something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. I even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. We got your rank one. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Yep. Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, oh, the it's troopers. probably safe for you to ask around for work. Ah, amazing. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, 
She hasn't been herself since mom left. Damn. They did dang near everything together. That's it. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. Ooh. True. He's gold, but man. moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. World over paying top gill. Quests, okay. Side quests. Fast travel. Towns, repair drug list stops, press over Ah, oh, amazing. Love it. Okay, so we can call Pico at any time. Let's go see um, what Chloe needs. How do we equip our bird, too? Is it in here? Is it in here? Oh, hey! You're back! I heard you might need some help. You did? Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? Yeah. I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. That's sad. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I did, yeah. I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Yeah. Sure. Cloud? Oh. Thoughts? What happened to your parents? Ask your brother. <laughs> we'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great that's view wild. of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Great view of Thank Midgar. Thank you so much. There is no great view of Midgar. Alright, so that's our first side quest, technically, right? So once we're outside, I think, we can most likely... Call up Pico. That is so nice how fast you get on, man. So nice. Oh, you can like glide too. Dude, you can like drift. Treasure hunting with chocobos. Chocobo hot and cold. Oh my god. Buried treasures nearby waiting to be sniffed by your feathered friend. Amazing. Chocobo couldn't find anything. Oh my god, it's Chocobo Hot and Cold from FF9, friends. Alright, so the side quest is this way, I think is I think is what's happening here, yeah. Yeah, check it out another time. It's crazy. I mean, yeah, the juggles are fast, man. This is awesome. They're so fat, man. I love it. It's actually insane how fast that area of interest discovered. Oh, was that part of Look the intro? Look at that! You stumbled upon a life spring. Why don't you try scanning it? Life spring. See what you uncover. Accessing the planet's figurative database should yeah. help us learn about the area. Nice, Shabby. Spring Seeker Owl? Could that be a life stream? Dude, this is. Oh my gosh. It's the life stream song. Unbelievable, guys. So cool. Oh, dude. The music is the live stream song. Look. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, I screwed up. Oh. Can you tell what it 
Chadley. That is so cool. A recent history. Decipher the knowledge of the live stream? Cool! The region intel. Wow. That's amazing. Stop calling me, Chadley. Confirmed. Data received. Life springs such as this can be discovered in every region. Their potential energy output is far too minuscule for Shinra it's to a exploit. Crazy device. But to us, they're fonts of intel. I encourage you to seek out more of these life springs. Amazing. So the little owl leads you to it. I love that detail. It's so fun. I'm hopping on my my bird. I love how fast he comes. It's just shy of Elden Ring, which is literally like torrent teleports from nothingness and just appears like so pretty amazing. Alert! Alert! Dangerous being detected in your vicinity. What? Please ensure you are prepared oh, I before can't fire. Have a good workout. <laughs> My sensors are picking up some understandable confusion. Who the heck is that? It's a pleasure to meet you, Cloud. I am your personal monster assessment instrument. But since that's a mouthful, you can call me Mai. Chadley programmed me to assist you by providing detailed analyses of the fiends you encounter. That's so I fun. hope I can be of service to you in the many battles ahead. With that out of the way, Female I'm picking up unusual fiend activity nearby. What's up, hot dog? To procure the biological data that we require, you'll need to complete specific objectives during combat. But don't worry, because I'll be here to help you succeed. Cool. Good luck. Awesome. Fiends that Chadley wished to analyze can be found in various locations. Cool. Fiends. I'm gonna look at my material really quick. What's he got? Healing. Steel, uh... HP up Barrett has for some reason? Weapon skill. ATB charge rate up. Increase the number of consecutive slashes with strong attacks and punishing. I'll go with ATB charge up. Yeah, Aerith got a lot of space, but we don't really have any more material. We'll do morph, and then Tifa. I'm gonna throw her steel. Utterly unbridled strength. Increase attack power while unbridled strength is active. I love that. Increase the duration of unbridled strength. Let's do that. Barrett, what you got? This is so interesting, the combat skill. Love that. Give him HP 2 hundo. I have no knowledge of anything related to FF. Hey, welcome. You're in a good place to start and just get a preview of it. Great to have you. It is great to have you. Oh, he has a Cess on. Sweet. He's from this place. Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing what? guidance protocol. It may look like nothing we more than a recently planned. To reach Mandragora roots are capable of functioning as well. Allowing them to jump through the sunlit locations of the city's rest of the day. In case you didn't know, no amount of the door facing on the beach. I can't help but wonder what this here is like. Further research may prove beneficial when the Chocobo raising activity. Synchro Cyclone! Ready first, Tifa, Cloud, Stagger, Enemy, Defeat Enemy. Let's go. Three, all is guaranteed. That was amazing. That was so cool. For some reason we don't have the uh, the attack that staggers really good. It's on you. So it's my turn, you take over. I got it. Right. There, bring it! Focus, Tag, we didn't land. No. Yeah, yeah, beat them. Yeah. 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 Y
here. He's part of it. <laughs> okay, there we go. I didn't do the objectives. Prevent enemies from using quick nap. No, I don't do that. How am I going to prevent them from doing that? Rare Mandragora variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. It may look like nothing more than a wriggling plant, but don't be fooled. Mandragora roots are capable of functioning as legs, allowing them to actively pursue sunlit locations as they shift throughout the day. In case you didn't know, chocobos seem to adore feasting on the bean seeds. I can't help but wonder what this variant might taste like. Further research may prove beneficial to any chocobo raising activities. So for the sake of your feathered friends, mow those mandragoras down! You just gotta kill him? What if we use fire and burn them? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, they're really I'll show you what I can do. Toasted. Oh my god, my. It doesn't, like, how do I prevent them from doing an ability? Combat looks really fluid. Ah, oh, it's so good. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a big part of the game. That's definitely a big part of the game. Alright, so, fire. Deal with that. Quick map. They just keep hitting them all or something? Whoa! Okay, Firebolt Blade is sick. Can you Firebolt Blade is insane. Yeah, it's really good. Don't overdo it. I'm coming. You can do it. I'll take over. Take the lead. All right, they haven't used that accursed ability yet. Kill him. <laughs> I think I got it. Yes. I think I just had to kill him quick. We've got a lot of great data. Great. And I think that probably gives us more material from Chadley, I'm assuming. Sweet. Yeah, the combat's amazing, man. It's really... It's really something. Let's pop a cure on Tifa. And... Perfect. I was gonna try and go to that side quest. I don't know how far it is, but... Alright, so Chocobos can't climb this, I'm assuming, right? Okay, I can climb up if they can. <laughs> climb! <laughs> Alright, let's go. The chocobos swim so nicely to you. Oh my god.
Can I jump? Yeah, you can jump. They said there's a, it's got a good view of Midgar, this place. I don't know where the heck. This is where we started, I think. At Calm. The question is, can we like circle back around? Let's see. The world has been amazing so far. It's actually insane how uh, how in depth it is. Uh, maybe we can't. Hold on. Let me try going this way. I'm trying to find like the front entrance of Calm. Ooh, a bunch of good stuff there for crafting. Oh, you can't go down that far, I see. So maybe the entrance to Calm is over there. Come on, Cloud. I think if I just keep running forward, I automatically get on the Chocobo. Yeah, that's really nice. That's a super nice touch. Maybe calms up this way, not sure. Looks like this is the initial way that we got into calm and after we came to Midgar, maybe. Yeah. This road's seen better days. It's so fast. The Republic's infrastructure has fallen into disrepair. And you know damn well, Shinra ain't about to spend a single gill on shit they don't use. Is it true the Republic used to run buses between towns? Yes, though that service ended when the war did. In other words, we gotta hoof it, cause Shinra's run by tight wads. Well, I don't mind. It's kind of fun exploring the great outdoors. You do you. The music. Guys. Hollow. Logging from work, make a Blood Elf character in WoW and ride around Chocobos and Azeroth. There's Chocobos, they put Chocobos in WoW, that's hysterical. <laughs> this song, man. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. That is so cool. Man. Tom is currently on high alert. Please limit your activities. Recent security operations. Man, Calm got some not calm stuff going on. Cool. It's like side class. I was starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Inspired by Chocobos? Yeah, yeah. That's we're awesome. more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? <laughs> it's downright distasteful. Bear it. <laughs> uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? No. Ask about this, Merc. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. Okay. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. Who's the mayor? I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on repairs? A simple, it's coming along, Who is this would suffice. Mer is it Kiri? Hey, Everyone, please! On? One at a time! Mer say Fred, but I think you're the only one who's made a name for themselves in the Undercity. So you don't know who he was talking about? Mm, no, not a clue. You're the only hotshot I know. Most Undercity mercs don't go bragging about being ex-soldier. We just find it. 
Just rolling down a set of stone stairs, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Oh, my chocobo. All right. I can't get over the music though. That's that's wild. This is really good defensible city, I will say. I wonder what happens if you go towards Midgar. Wild. So crazy to see. Look at this. Bad. See, so yeah, there's there's some hot and cold items around here. Like, if I dig, the Chocobo is gonna find some stuff. It's like hot and cold from FF9. What? Stray chocobos? These tough little chicks will lead you. Oh, heck yeah. Dude, <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> look at this chocobo, man. What the? Look at this little guy. Cool. Where's he going? That's amazing. That is so cool. Look at this little chocobo, man. He's so cute. Come on, Cloud. Pick the thing up. What are you doing? Oh, hold it. <laughs> I was like, dude, you can pick up the Buster Sword. It's bigger than that. Probably heavier. The most stop is now working. A golden plume. Give him a pet. Ah. Yes, you can pet the baby chocobo. See? <laughs> That's awesome. So now, so now what? I can rest. So interesting. He has like a little... <laughs> you see that? He just... Conks out, man. That's funny. Alright guys. Time to progress story. We're going main story, guys. Because I feel right here. Ah! We gotta progress. FF10 Chocobo riding, I love it to death, but the controls are actually insane. So, are you sure this is safe? Her pockets of the bog are damn near bottomless. Plus, there's that giant man-eating serpent. Bill assured us the Chocobos could handle it. Have some faith in our feathered friends. Who's that? This is creepy, man. I like it. It's real creepy. Oh, look. There's like ruins on the ground. What are these? Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? What the? Yeah. Is this a puzzle? These are known as guide stones. Crystals that direct travelers to shrines to the divine. The stones right. emit light when they shatter, producing an illuminated path. If ever you're lost, try smashing one. Following the light should lead you to a sanctuary. 
said to honor the tutelary deity of a given region. The shrines contain untold divine knowledge, slumbering within massive crystals. I can use this knowledge to strengthen your summoning materia. What? So I encourage you to seek out said sanctuaries. Interesting. So smack one? You can kick it. Look at this. Chocobos. <laughs> the grasslands are home to Titan sanctuaries. In the age of myths, Whoa. when Titan rose from his subterranean prison, he created a massive earthquake. Thus did a vast swath of land rise from the sea, becoming the grasslands. Sweet. Titan is a beast. We gotta try and get Titan one day. Whoa. Cool guys, look at this. This is awesome. Who is that talking to you? Uh, that is Chadley. That's like an Intel guy. Cyborg created by Shinra. I love that the exploration is so vertical now. It's awesome. Man. Oh, lots of stuff in here. Check this out, guys. Look at the cave. Titan Sanctuary? Sanctuaries and crystallized knowledge. Whoa. Ooh, look at this, man. That's so cool. Wow. That's him, yeah. This is positively incredible, Cloud. I can't recall ever seeing a crystal of this caliber before. To think the secrets of the divine dwell within. I cannot wait to see what sort of intel our analysis will yield. Huh. You'll need to synchronize with the crystal before I can extract data on the deform entity. I'm counting on you. The music's really cool. You hearing that? Summon crystal to reveal its memory matrix. A series of points will appear. Memorize their positions? The points will then disappear and you must make inputs to the good. Okay. So we're gonna try and memorize it. Let's do it. Yeah. I don't even have Titan, so I'm not gonna strengthen it. <laughs> what? I don't know what we can look to look for right now. What? Failed. I think I. Oh, was there one on the bottom? There's one on the bottom. Didn't notice it. My microphone was in the way. <laughs> That's fun. This is actually gonna get hard if they if they change the buttons and stuff. Yo. Okay. So what does this give us now, dude? The mini games. There's so many. <laughs> Intelligence. Okay. He's a big nerd, yeah. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. Okay. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Love it. Love it. So you can strengthen my materia, which I don't have. <laughs> Do not have Titan yet, but we'll get it one day. I like how they're kind of implementing stuff like that about the world, because yeah, the gods, the, the summons used to be gods of the world essentially. Really cool. Way oh okay, we can go down that way, kids. I think it was. I'm trying to remember the way down. over there. Alright, let's head back down and then we will continue our swamp marsh progression. This is really cool because in the original game there was just like a literal 10 second section uh, where you go over a swamp and then a big snake chases you. So now we got something a little bit more in depth. <laughs> Pretty cool, I think. What's up with all these cubes? It's kind of cool. That's so creepy, though, knowing that the uh, monster's in here somewhere. I 
kept saying back when we were playing OG that people were not thinking big enough. And even I was not thinking big enough, man. That's insane. So he's sniffing around. I'm trying to figure out, like... Where to dig? Mm, I like these big trees. It's really cool looking. Minecraft tracks? Oh my god. I'm not sure like what to look for when he when he's warm or hot and cold. I guess I'll know when he does it, but this looks like maybe an old reactor or something? What is this? Ooh, one of those owls, it's falling. for gold sauce. I, it's it's gonna be an endless <laughs> like there's already so much in the game right now I'm like whoa you know so much in this game Get treasures as a chocobo? We can? That's actually hype. Bottle of Jesus. This is insane. I like how they're really far away too, these uh nice <laughs> about to climb down. I love how it plays the like live stream theme every time you get here. It's awesome. Whoa, so much to pick up, man. Amazing. Look at that crystallized, essentially material, right? Natural material. So cute, the sound, yeah, it really is. Expedition Intel 2. We got points. Share. Dad is gonna give us a go off. Cloud, by analyzing the life spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. This chip likely contains an exceptionally rare formula. I recommend searching for it. A rare form. I think we're very far away from there. <laughs> what is this? I can't believe how much is in here. And this is gonna circle back underground, isn't it? To the bottom. I'm like, what? It's amazing. I got a craft item, man. I'm getting so much stuff. What can we make? Antidote? Yes. Craftsmanship level three. Smelling salts we already got. Potion, mixed potion. Let's do it. Mixed potion. Restores 350 and 20 MP. Broken. Broken, man. MP restore is like, it's the hardest thing to get in the game. It's gonna be amazing. I gotta call my boy up here and let's, let's get back to it. So 
They are really fast in the water, I'm impressed. A bit of treasure. Flat blessing. Right. Probably gotta go around this way, I think. He can dig in the water? Dude. Let me tip you. This is huge, the marsh, wow. I'm thinking maybe we have to loop around the other side. Ooh, I think it's a weapon, guys. Yeah. Over there. Oh no, this could be a joke. What? It's Sephiroth. <gasps> what? What? Come on. Oh man, it's so creepy. I'm gonna need this weapon. It's Sephiroth. High caliber rifle? Is that for Barrett? You better equip that right now, Barrett. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? No, I don't. Man, Cloud really is uh, seeing things. Creepy. A rogue man. Yes, that was the bad guy, but it's actually not him. It was uh, an illusion. He missed a little bit earlier the backstory for the bad guy, but it's it's a juicy one. And don't worry, there'll be more. It's a real juicy one. There's a reason he's one of the most well-known villains. I think I'm gonna switch out. I wanna get um I wanna get buried in here. We go Barrett and Tifa. Let's try that. That could be fun. I haven't actually used Barrett yet. Get him in there. Get this man going. All right, where are we at? Let's go this way. Deeper into the marshes. Yeah, very juicy back there. Yeah, so get ready. Whoa. This is crazy. Is it the snake right in front of us? Dude. Oh no. Oh, they stepped on it. Oh my god. Everybody buckle up. No, Barrett. Hey, get back here right now. Oh. No. Oh my goodness. It disguised itself as an island. Gee, I had no focus. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's all in time, boys. This ends here. Take this ends here. Yeah, we got music. Yeah! 
Let Cloud go, you son of a gun. <laughs> what the heck, dude? I'm gonna rise and fall through. Ah, I missed a couple of combos, then. Let Cloud go! Okay, there he is. Please tell me he's not dead again. Oh my goodness, Cloud, Cloud, Cloud. I gotta wait till I get uh, I gotta wait till I get staggered. I'll use his on the break. Um Tifa has Mist Potion. For you! I probably should have gone with Aerith for distance management on the bank. So uh let's do take I think Tifa still has focus I can use that. We gotta instantly murder. I think I'm out of Phoenix down. I have one more Phoenix down. We still got a job to do. Alright, let's even get the synchro attack. Didn't do as much as I'd hope, but it's something. Alright, cure yourself, dude. He's dead. He died before he could be on the Oh, that's it. Alright, watch and learn. Ah, big man. Can't bring him back. Man, I hit another break. Please don't you let up now. They probably expected me to do all the side quests before here, but I don't really trying to do it. Ah, that doesn't look good. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh my god! You're not supposed to fight this thing in the original, man! What's going on here? Oh, it's gonna cook us alive! Okay, the music's awesome. Dude. Yeah, I can't bring Cloud back, <laughs> so he's just dead. He's gonna break too, if he can. Probably gonna be a wipe. Kind of like perfect dodge and stuff. Chakra, healer. It's okay. You got this. Bring in the heat! Training of Dome. Alright, we're gonna use focus down. Hang in there! Just hold tight. I got you. Okay, now she's yeah. out. Loud dead. Oh, Something <laughs> tells me this thing ain't messing around anymore. Oh. Yeah. so good, man. What is it? Alright. Guess we'll try a little break. Get him! Oh. Oh. I guess I shouldn't use Barret without uh, so trying him out more. yet. So, I'm actually a little scared. If I hit last battle, what does that mean? Where's it gonna put me? Okay, I think I'm... Where am I? Okay, I think I'm right where I was. Uh, where was the boss? I guess he was to my left over there. Okay, so yeah, he's probably right over there somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> Rip, thank you. Okay, let me see if I can get Barret out. How do I guess? Combat set. Barret. Don't know how to use red either. Haven't uh, used him and I probably won't. So let's get him in there. Enemy intel won't help me. I don't trust me. Either. 
I should have practiced on remake. I haven't played it in a couple of years, but oh man, I was so good back in the day at it. Hmm. I wonder if I can play cards against the snake and defeat him in cards. What do you guys think? What's up, Jasmine? Hope you're having fun. Thank you. How you doing? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save it. I might be underpowered for this, unfortunately, because I didn't do any side quests. I don't think I actually even completed one. <laughs> There's like five million. So, yeah, we'll see about this. Um, I think we'll just try it with Aerith. And let me try switching some material around. I could like buy more healing material too. I didn't prep for this at all. Sounds great to me, yeah, right? What can I give Cloud here? Fire, healing. He already has the healing. Everybody's got something. HP up. I'm gonna take it from Barry. He doesn't need it right now. Uh, steel chakra not helping me. I don't have a weapon. What's this? Chocobo. Oh, we do have summons. I didn't even realize that, guys. Aerith has this equipped. Uh, no, 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 no. Ifrit. Ah, oh, man, I forgot about that. So let's... Cloud has Chocobo and Moogle. I forget how to use summons, though. They said something has to trigger it. Um... against Blizzard. I think Tifa actually has Blizzard. Pushing it. Yeah. Let's go. Freeze! Yeah. Bring it, you're up. You're I didn't going. see anything happen. <laughs> Cloud's dead. I must be under this power for die like I was dying instantly. What's going on here? Alright, thank goodness it didn't take away all my items after dying. That would have been bad. Aerith doesn't have any healing. That is very unfortunate being a healer. I'm gonna have to buy her another heal material or something. I don't know, you just. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, now I'm mad. Stop it! Aerith is the weakest in the party, so it's good that it's just her alive, yeah. right? <laughs> Can I just morph into an item, guys? I'll take that. Yeah, phase two with Aerith. <laughs> Get back! The red vignette on the cut.
calling to me. I know you. Yes. <laughs> It said something about experience. I think I just saying I don't have experience from that battle, which doesn't make much sense. I didn't win the battle, so. All right, all I can think of is get Aerith a healing materia. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I don't need fast travel point here, but what I do have is. What I'm really curious about is dynamic difficulty. What happens to it? <clears throat> difficulty is normal. Dynamic. Enemy difficulty adjusts based on your skill level. Select this if you love the thrill of the fight. So if I stink, like right now, does it lower the difficulty? <laughs> That's hysterical. Let's see how hard he is now. I'm trying to get past this so I can progress the story. That's why we're playing this, so. Don't have time for every side quest right now. Land, I see? So it's gonna be hard to level Let's up. Let's go. Let's take a look. Lower the difficulty a little bit, see how we do. Because <clears throat> I can't keep fighting like this. <laughs> On you. I got this. Yeah, my punch was working for a second, but then I just died. <laughs> on it. I'm not sure why. But... All right, Tifa's getting in there now. We got. Dive kick. Let's go. Attempt to take an item, probably when you're staggered. Aim for the head, guys! So it's my turn? Go on! Soldier. Just a bit. Tagging out. I got this. Yeah, no <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. So, like, I wonder if on dynamic difficulty it actually makes it easier than using that round. You die a lot, you know what I mean? What does that mean exactly? Also, I wonder if I can hack the game to get Cloud in the air. Get back! Is it absorbing heat? Not good. Everyone! Keep your distance. Oh. <laughs> that was funny. This guy's completely destroyed. Where's all those X potions I had from the Zephyr? That's the real question, right? Don't oh, take chakra. Long away from this. Double chakra. I'm coming! That's it! <laughs> Let's do this. Alright, let's do the six and outside the Diva. This might be Okay. Pressure. Where is focus strike? Where did it go? Deal with that. I don't know, but I do have limit break with Diva. So let's get him staggered. Use limit break. Alright, take it out. Good. Alright, let's get Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's gonna eat somebody. Wait. Okay, this is, this is the last part we saw. We start destroying the whole swamp, so let's see what happens now. This is the music goes and hard, let's so end this asshole. Now. Don't overdo it. Oh, 
Pit, they said, yeah. That's terrifying. Oh my god, Cloud's dead. No. Oh no. What? And that sword would definitely. Wakey, wakey. That was insane. Who saved you him? Remember who I am? No. Aerith. You are Sephiroth. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. He said Barrett. I oh, said barely. But you're Barrett, the flower seller. Sephiroth. What the heck? I knew he was strong, but still. That was a perfect example of, uh... Those guys are looking for him, too. They've gotta be. Yeah, I kinda get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. That was such a good example of the, the power difference, man. The power difference. You can now run, swim through the swamp land. Uh, great, just exactly what I want to do. Swim in a swamp. That was insane. Again, amazing change to what happened. Uh, well, not really a change to what happened. Just we saw what happened in the now. As opposed to just finding it like that. That is horrifying. And it's still there. Whoa. Awesome. 
Love it. Yeah, vastly, vastly improved over the original. Absolutely. Chapter 3. Deeper into darkness. He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Yes. Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh. Wow. Forget it. You guys need to focus. Standard course. Wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working mythro. Long market, madam. Y'all know about mythro, right? Hmm. No, tell me about Not mythro. Not anything specific. Tolkien. No. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both caps. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. The music. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life. The music! Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Hmm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. He even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. The music! Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. <clears throat> the music! It's such a good song from the original, and they nailed it. Oh my gosh, guys. Listen. Absolutely nailed it. I'm mind blown. So good. Yeah, absolutely incredible. I love it. I love it. All right, let's look at the folios. We got new stuff to do. Party level two. All right, I see how it works now. I get it now. Unleash an ice magic attack without expending MP. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it, it, it's... Yeah, unlock skill core. I get it. You can equip that. Uh, Relentless Rush? Is this with Tifa? Heck yeah. Done. Done. That looks crazy. Tifa. United refocus, Tifa Aerith. Icy impulse. They nailed this song. Slip and slide? <laughs> Cloud and Aerith. And Tifa? It's a three person? That's cool. Let's get that. I know we don't have enough juice for it. Wait, we do have enough juice for it, okay? Oh, I see. We gotta get there first. Alright, three person attack. That's really hype. I'm excited for that. After his last performance there, <laughs> Red, I don't understand it all yet. Let's see if I have time to learn him, but probably not. Let me see. High potion. Let's see, I need some high potion. Do I have any money? No. I'll take those three for that really good price. Healing materia. Gonna have to buy it for Aerith. Okay, let me give that to Aerith. I 
Earth. Fire damage up. Stand duration of detrimental status. Eh. Give her fire damage up. That sounds fun. Ferret, no. I'm actually mind blown by this music. It's so good. It's them. It seems we've caught up. I would just Run. kill them. Save yourself a lot of trouble. Yeah, I really like how they show the difference in power right there with the snake. That was cool. Fate is in the planet's hands Hope now. They're okay. Yeah. Bang. But if not, nothing we can do. Right. Bam. Cloud is so cold. <laughs> I don't know. We shouldn't just leave them. You know what? I will check. Okay. I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Yeah, he used to be a miner. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. I like that it shows how kind Deepa is. That was a nice touch. You keep track of the other robes now. You hear? Of course. Cloud's instantly like, forget about them, they're dead. <laughs> that's that's crazy. Careful down there! <laughs> they're dropping like flies, yeah. Yeah, that was wild. Uh, fast travel is unavailable. I love what they did with this song, man. It gives it a talking dog. Is that a druid, magic animal, cursed person? Um, he is a, he's just a different species of like a highly intelligent like race um, that is pretty much extinct. He is the last, uh, supposedly the last surviving member of this race. Um, and yeah, I don't want to say too, too much in case others don't want to get spoiled. I'll look at that for now. But he's really cool. He's not—he's not like a human. Now. This ends here. It's on you. Okay, let's go. Yeah, speak him. Let's keep it up. He's a really cool character, though. He's—he's he's kind of a sleeper character for most people. In the beginning, people are in the old game. People are like, ah, oh, he's pretty cool. And then a couple quests happen, and all of a sudden, it's like he becomes a fan favorite very quickly. Yeah, he's, he's a really special character. He's great. And his hometown, uh, Cosmo Canyon, is like a fan favorite place too. It's very special. I want to feed him. <laughs> yeah. He's uh, he's pretty epic. Ooh, 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 wait, wait, a materia. Get that. But yeah, the lore of this game is absolutely incredible. It's really like just top to bottom beautifully done. But uh, everybody loves it. It's wild to hear a battle version of this song. That is a really cool choice. Awesome. Really cool version. Love it. That's fun. Ooh, a weapon, guys. Who's this weapon for? Also, Barry got a new weapon. Scythe gloves? Sylph gloves for Tifa? Let's get her hooked up, man. Let's get her hooked up. He's a very good boy. Hey, look, those are the gloves I wear for my cosplay of Tifa. Sylph gloves. Gloves that slice the air to deliver sharp strikes. I love how it shows them. And then it also shows them on the character. So you get a little close up preview. The goodest of good boys, indeed. 
He really is. Thank you so much, gaming uh, captain, for the follow. All right, she has another materia slot too, guys. So this is really significant. Let's give her ATB charge rate up. Absolutely, that's amazing. My initial impression was canine. Doesn't have to be either. It could be both. Yeah, I get that he's a uh, he's, he's he's a mix or something. I don't know. I I always thought lion. I think he looks like a lion, personally. But who knows? Lion wolf mixed. All right, Tifa. AP up. Increase the amount of AP earned for linked materia. It's okay. But I don't think we want that. Materia is a really fun system too. What else can I give her? We don't have anything to link right now, to be quite honest. I'll just leave it at that. Did I give Aerith healing? Yeah. Anyone seen the show Cat Dog? <laughs> they did with the song yeah it's super faithful like it has that weird quirky sound to it that's the only way I can describe it you know I thought I actually feared they might have changed it to like different instruments but I love the instrumentation that's been like one of my favorite things about this game all right wow cooking man deal with that but not my best. Yeah, just just wait. He has one of the most emotional stories. In fact, his part of the story is one that maybe made the most people cry in the original game, believe it or not. It's definitely up there. Incredible story. I really like how they do this mind level too. It's gorgeous. Hey, cool. I got it. Just like that, okay? I do wonder how the others are doing as well. What the heck is that thing? It's an ogre. Creepy. I see impulse. Push this. Let's do it. What? Oh, he pulled it back. <laughs> are these the Mithril Mines? Yeah, these are the Mithril Mines. Really well done. This song, man, it's like such a weird song in the original game, and I'm so glad they kept it kind of quirky. It's fun. Alright, that's enough, that's enough. Get in there. Whoa, it's huge. Awesome. And they call it a mine. A mine! Wow. This place is huge. Love it. What's that? Mm 
Hopefully, my ticket out of here. Our ticket out. Let's see. Oh, we ain't going up that way, kids. Uh, or that way. We ain't going anywhere. Gimli, the ultimate mind enthusiast. Oh, that's creepy. What's that? Yeah. Everybody's so spry in this game. It's incredible. I think it's a great game. Really Potion, dang, that's actually incredible. Um, okay, we gotta move this. Move this and jump on, maybe? Is that what this thing is? Little puzzle action. For the kids. several times and then you learn the ability for good. Um, I don't think it's like that anymore, so. What does everyone think of the game so far? I think it's probably the best Final Fantasy game ever. We'll see. <laughs> That's my opinion right now. It's been really amazing. Yeah. It's been absolutely insane. Like I don't see any black robes. Just the scale of it. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch up. If any of them are still alive. Cloud showing he's essentially a monster. <laughs> Cloud's more of a monster than Sephiroth. What's up, FBD? Mentioned Dune 2 earlier. Yes. I want to see Dune 2 so bad. My girlfriend got to go to the uh, early screening. She said she really enjoyed it. We're big Dune fans, so... It's promising. She's read the book, you know? Rolling Thunder, and yeah, whatever, sure. Sure, sounds awesome. I love playing as Cloud and Tifa. That's why they have the special deals. I remember these. Special deals! Phoenix down. Assess, mm, steal. I haven't really used steal yet, but it's quite hard to remember when things get staggered. You're usually thinking about destroying them. My wife and I have the next four days off to grind it out. I, I think you can probably do it. Possibly. Yeah. It's really, really amazing. 
just an amazing uh, opening. I think the opening, like pre prologue. So, tell me about Reno. He holding up okay? Reno. He's been through worse. Oh. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. Turks. To relax. Recuperate. Turks. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Wait. Well, oh, we kicked his butt. More or less. So. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Hmm. <laughs> Probably misses it. <sighs> there we go. The music. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Music. <sighs> Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission... It makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Elena. Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? <laughs> Good voice for Elena. I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Dang. Assholes. Who's there? Ha! <laughs> See if I had a sharp ears. Damn it. All right, let's go walk. That's cold though. <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. <laughs> Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Huh. Where's Reno? I like your voice. On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. <laughs> she may be new, but she's still a Turk. Yep. And a consummate professional. Yeah, let's go. It's on you. Let me get rude when I attack you. Have to be this way. I know he is. He is. So if you guys don't know, Rude has a big crush on Tifa, and uh, he doesn't attack her in the old game <laughs> when he plays Tifa. No matter what, he won't attack Tifa. Crush him. So they're blocking everything. Whoa. Amazing. Yeah, I really enjoy playing as Tifa and Cloud. I'll probably, when I get when Yuffie joins the game, I'll probably uh, play as Yuffie. And call it, call it a, like a call it a day with those three. If I can, they're my favorite. I got you. Look at Rude, man. What a boss. Yeah, he refused to attack Tifa because he really liked him. <laughs> let's stagger. Come on, let's go. I don't have any damaging attacks with her. Oh, I guess. I can. I'll take finish him off. Leave it early. Can't really damage damage doll either, so I need to get you the attack. Elena. Yo, look at the choreography. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Just like we practiced. Gotcha. Okay, that was awesome. Come on. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that's like we practiced. The choreography, man. Yeah, I don't think Ares can do much. I'm gonna summon you though. He doesn't have any damaging magic here. Really. Sorry, I, I know it's sudden. Let's go. Get it. It's your turn. My turn. Heavenly Strike. Whoa! Dude! She attacked everybody in the party? That was kind of hype. I can't lie. I can't even be mad. That was hype. All right, I want to see Relentless Run. On it. Wow. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's finish this. Is this song of trust on Earth? No, I don't think so. 
I think I'm going to the lane if I do it. Here goes. It's like a crazy weapon. Heavenly Strike. Oh, wow, that decimated her. That was wild. Divine Punishment! Tifa and Aerith together! I think Elena's done. I finished it. Alright, it's just rude now. Right, I want to see Diamond go. Master the weapon ability, okay. Those were gonna be good again. I think we got him, guys. Hey, like that, Elena. Hands in the air! There. Right now! Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Better keep that toy where I can see it. <laughs> unless you want to hold in your head. Huh. <laughs> now then. Yes. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. Yeah. Yes. You need someone to blame. Son. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, he's cold. He's cold. Elena was right. I suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. Oh. Helena! <laughs> Come on. Dang, dude! That's some confidence, I will say. Red. That's some confidence in the kicks. Jeez. No. Down into the mines. Oh no, they knocked us deep inside. Ah. Dang, man. Just gonna float there. Dang, with that arm. Hey, where are the others? That would be so hard. You okay? We're good. Just taking a quick dip to get the crime off. <laughs> there, it's a beast to swim with that arm, man. Do you see a way to go? What the heck? We'll find one. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. Let's go. Team up. Team up with the boys. They got the wet graphics down, man. What the heck? Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. That's sad. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. Man. What do you think their deal is? Where are they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. Mmm, cool. Ooh, the music. Some cool, some cool tunes. Alright, this is good. Now I can actually learn these guys better and equip them with good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna give him his second weapon as much as I like the first one better. That one looks pretty cool. Let's look at the material. Uh, what's he got? Lightning? Oof. Uh, give him... I have so few, I'm gonna have to be switching it back and forth between people. What does my boy have? He's got poison. Precision defense. I truly don't understand how to use red, so... We're gonna have to learn. Recharges, overcharge, a bunch of staggering effects. It's okay. It's okay. Hmm. 
I think there's a weapon chest in front of me too, which is really exciting, yeah. Take the healing off of uh, Aerith, ironically, the white mage here. Let's see what kind of weapon chest we got. Renegade's Collar. That's got to be for red, I, I take it. ODST. What does that stand for? Mithra Collar, yeah. Renegade's Collar. So, Stardust Ray. Like, does he have Stardust Ray? How do I know if he's learned it? I feel like he actually doesn't know. Renegade's Collar stinks. What the heck? Crescent Claw. Alright, we'll learn it, but actually got less materials left. Oh, it's one of the Halo games? How are we doing on health? Max down. Alright, we got some stuff down line. Let's do it. with red and cloud. Avalanche two-step with Tifa. That's hype. I'm going to have to get that. That's really hype. Max HP up. Done. Easy choice. Also, I need to level my... Let's level my weapons. Which is like a whole separate thing, right? Overfang. Yes, Barret and Red. We'll be getting that. <laughs> we'll be getting that right now. Okay, can't get that yet. Yeah, let me go to one more thing. It's the weapon... Upgrade weapon. bullets that increase stagger. That's definitely new in this game. That's a really fun addition. I was really curious how they're gonna like keep juicing up the battle system after the, after what happened in the first game. A lot of us got very good. How you doing? Uh, can I get some water? Thank you. I don't think so. Thank you. Should. I got full one, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fly safe, fly safe, alright? Thank you, yeah. 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 I think we need magic weapons, yeah, ironically. I think people who are 
really good at magic. I feel like that's better than any mountain climbers on Earth. <laughs> they definitely use two hands for most of the time. But I guess his left hand would be insanely strong. If he didn't just develop like tendon problems and mess up his left hand from using it all the time only. Nicely decorated, I'll say, you know? Thank you, Leah. Two different ways to go, guys. What the heck? Interesting. He is the strongest. Oh, wait. Okay. I think I get it. Uh, there might be a separate way if we go down. But we're, we're really straining Barrett's left hand here. This is the way now. I think if we go this way, we'll find ourselves in a separate area. Yeah. Cool. Yep, he's the strongest human that ever lived. Huge 
huge area, man. What the heck? It's amazing. You know, this great stuff? This game is insane. Kick butt. How do I feel about the game right now? I think it's probably the best Final Fantasy game ever made. Um, got really emotional earlier. Um, I think it has my favorite scenes. Uh, I would say sequence or uh, segment. Like overall set piece, maybe, in the whole trilogy so far. Uh, they made a lot of changes to the original that um, are much better. Yeah, much, much better than the original. How'd that gym workout go, guy? Yeah, I would say it's really, really well done. Got some of the best scenes. Um, they changed a few lines from Sephiroth from the original. Um, there's one particular line they changed from the original that was just—it was absolutely harrowing what Sephiroth said. And uh, yeah, that was that was a much better choice than what they did in the original game. I was back and chest and very sore. Interesting that you work out back and chest together, so you go for the um, you go for the antagonist muscle groups. That's cool. Yeah, I've done that a few times myself. Do like pull up, pull ups, and push ups together. Always a nice mix up. Yeah, if you're worried about the pacing in the first one, it, you're gonna like this a lot more for sure. I didn't have a problem with it myself, I enjoyed it, but I mean, this game is like super, super, super open world, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can go around and play cards all day if you want, like FF8, or you can, uh, you can progress the story really, really fast, like I'm doing right now, or you can, um, yeah, I mean, look, I'm like running and jumping up stuff, so, you know, it's not, you don't have that feeling of being confined really. Um, as you know, the first game was very cinematic. Um, after the opening sequence in this, you can just do whatever you want. How do you like Queen's Blood game? Uh, I played, what was it, maybe four or five rounds. Um, I really like it. I want to play a lot more. I just, uh, I unfortunately don't have so much time to, to do any of the side quests. I really want to, though. There's so much to do in the world. It's actually incredible. And I was... I think significantly, significantly underleveled uh, than what I'm supposed to be. Um, so, yeah, I was having a lot of problems with the last boss, um, trying to brute force my way through it, essentially.
don't mind if I fill you with a hole. Fuck on this! You got me! Follow my lead. Okay, Looks like oh, Sean Delaney. Watch my documentary one too many times. Just comatose repeating I'm a monk forever now. That was something else. That was cool. That was a sick attack, you guys see that? Yeah, they watched my documentary one too many times. Now there's comatose forever saying, I am monk, I am monk, I am monk. But I appreciate the views. I assume you were responsible for getting me 9 million views on the documentary, so I do appreciate that. Uh, thanks for making that possible. Sponsored by Square Enix on today's stream. Very honored to uh, be able to play the game like this. Um, I also posted my Vincent cosplay before this. People are saying it's too obvious to have the yellow paint. I did miss it and ran around for like a half hour because I didn't see it with the yellow paint. So that's my counterpoint <laughs> to why they need the yellow paint. God, that's gorgeous. Can we talk about the lighting? Holy shit, that's crazy. Bring it home! We keep it together. Alright! Watch and learn! You've got to! Follow my lead. Now! Big way! It's over! Victory is in sight. Down with you! Hell yeah! I really like the contrast in lighting too between the orange and blue. So if I shoot this, do I get special prizes? So cool, man. Environmental destruction. And we get MP for getting a Mako shot from that too. Yeah, the story is always going to be the best uh, part about Final Fantasy. I had to abandon the gameplay in this game uh, <laughs> to progress the stuff right too. It's too underleveled. Ah, I know what to do. I did this puzzle before. Oh wait, this is different. Story's too good, man. The is too good, it's like a movie. The bear is strong, he moves it faster than Cloud does. With one hand. That's a true legend right there. It's 
a really deep battle system. It's a shame I had to kind of streamline it this time. Just, man, I love it. The first game I platinumed it. It's one of the best battle systems I've ever... I think it's probably the best battle system I've ever this game. I'm gonna make you It's the ogre. The Yujiro Hanma. Any Baku fans? <laughs> Look at that environmental destruction, you see that? Well now, look who it is. First orcs, ogres. <gasps> hey guys! Over here! Blood elves. <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Essentially a monster with no remorse. They hinted at this a little bit in the first game, and now they really. Uh... Oh, look at that! It's so cool. You can actually kick the rocks off. I love stuff like this, man. I just kick these rocks around all day. It's so cool. He said for two grand. Oh, he was he was saying what Cloud said earlier. That's funny. Barrett's eyes sparkle like me. Thank you so much, Leah. Thank you so much. I think I can shoot this. Barrett, solution for absolutely everything is shoot. It's a ladder that needs to come down. Shoot it. Boxes, shoot. Shoot. This is the first time we get to play as someone else, too. I do like that. Just shoot it, man. Just shoot it. Ooh. A thousand gil. I think they improved Barrett's face a lot in this game. They added more detail to everybody. Hair and face. Really. Maybe I can shoot this? Maybe I can shoot this and it'll run. Maybe it'll uh, unlock that for you. Ooh, there's something down there too though. Elven royalty, and we just don't know it yet. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Stay tuned. I think I'm on to something here if I shoot the. Uh, shoot this. You Got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. Tifa. Yeah, Cloud is a cold-hearted monster in this game. It's actually crazy. Oh, dead. Yeah, that's his other hand, yeah. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. He's got one hand, he's like Yeah. He's gonna shoot it down, why not? The folios the folios are really cool, man. That's it's pretty much the spear grid, yeah. Nothing like that. I think I, I think I got an idea what to do here. Yeah. This 
Fear Grid used the books from the first game? Yeah. It kind of plays into all the story stuff too, you know. I'm gonna have to shoot this. If I know Barrett, he's gonna shoot it. Yeah. Just shoot it. That would do it. Yeah, I love Final Fantasy X. Story-wise, Final Fantasy X is just definitely right up there with the top stories of FF. Really, really good. Maybe we pull this. Take that two grand. Aerith wants it now too. <laughs> yeah, I rate the game very highly so far. Um, <laughs> boss time. Time over bang? Whoa, okay, that was awesome. 
That was awesome. Staircase. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. That was crazy. I'm so curious, like, what the lore is behind that guy, because he had these eyes like he was almost a machine. It's really interesting. What do you guys think? I'm feeling like Shinra could be involved in it, but. See we can mix. Phoenix Draft revives and restores HP. 
I'll take a couple of those if I can. Dang. No, I can't. Echo Mist. Cure Silence. Take that. Mixed Potion. Amazing. Mixed Potion. Consider it done. Potion. Consider it done. Alright. Very good. Now we're cooking good. Okay, I think this is where the others were. Maybe. This might be where Cloud and Tifa were. In which case, uh, yeah. Cool. Or maybe this is where they crossed over to? <laughs> yeah. This is it. This is the reunion. Reunion. Hey! What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away. Right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. Yeah. True. But don't forget. Shimmer knows we're here now. Yeah. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. Yeah. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. That's right. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Wow, that was cool. That was really cool. I was not expecting that. Song's back, baby. Ah, oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. Ogres! I got you. Good old fun. Ogres unlock this ability. Unlock this What in the world is this? Hey, check it out. Just them? I guess so. What the? Is that a zoo? What? They're just trying to wait for the bus, man! Why did you gotta do it to them? That was messed up. Dang, leave them be, man. Leave them be. That city they're headed to, is that... Shunar. Shinra territory. 
come on. Dawn of a new era. As Junon, yep. That's insane to see it. It's really crazy. Phoenix? Oh, okay, combat simulator. Interesting. Hmm. Version 3.1.5. I like the music. So where are we in relation to where we were? Oh, okay, so we just we went through that mountain right there. Uh, wait, what? Oh, okay. Interesting. So this is where we're at right now. We went through all this? Or is that just the top of the mines? Interesting. And then Junon is over there. Oh my goodness, there it is. It looks exactly like the original game. Absolutely insane. Look at the scale of this world, man. Yeah, again, shout out to Square Enix for sponsoring this. This is incredible. Where did that bird even come from, you think? There's a story about a great condor set the loose on the island's abandoned reactor. Though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. They just finally reclaiming what Shinra stole. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. Look at this place. seem very friendly. Agreed. So beautiful. Let's focus on where we can go. Look at this, man. It's crazy. Are you seeing this guy? Absolutely beautiful. Actually, Humongous Area. There's like a tower over there. Unbelievable. Unbelievably good stuff, man. I can't believe it. That's it, guys. Alright, friends. I think I'm gonna call it there for today. That was absolutely incredible. Um, what a strong start to the game. I, I'm i still in shock from what I saw, um, like, post-demo. I want to go back and see that. I think that's my favorite part of the game, or, uh, in general. It was just so well done. So human, man. So impressed by that. Yeah, I can't say enough about it. The music's been the other standout. Absolutely incredible, and the performance and writing is really good as well. But yeah, I'm going to call it there. Definitely a long stream for me. And uh, we got a we got a little chunk into the game. Unbelievable! But thank you all for joining me. It's been really fun. Uh, thank you, Square Enix, for sponsoring. Unbelievable! What a game! That's all I can say. Definitely looks amazing with a great story. Make you want to try it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, Akaria. It's a lot of fun. Recommend the first one remake if you want to get a taste uh, or you want to see the beginning of the story too. Really amazing. Uh, thank you all. Thanks for the links, mods, too. Um, yeah, Insanity. We'll probably be back tomorrow at some point to play. Uh, I know Aaliyah's going to stream tomorrow, too, and uh, get her start on this game, so that'll be pretty epic. But, yeah, you guys are the absolute best. Thank you so much for uh, for joining me for this. Let me see. Um, let's take a look here. Awesome. Alright guys, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for being here. We'll uh we'll catch you next time, friends. <clears throat>